And we are live. Hi guys, good to see you all. Welcome back to another Flatter Day special, a Wiggly Flat Firms Flatter Day special. Just cause, just cause, cause we can, and we're gonna have an epic time. Okay, we're gonna see wonderful things and learn wonderful things together. Just give me a sec to uh, check my comms in order, everybody. Sorry to keep you wait waiting. Precious minutes. Just to see what go on. Super smashing. Great. Splendid. What, what? So today, today we're going to have some fun. Primarily, we're going to have some fun. It's been a tricky week. This is lots been happening. Lots upcoming of Flight of British to look forward to. Later on, I will show you all the epic things that are happening. But the context of this post will be... It makes you wonder sometimes about sound and vision, David Bowie once said. Um, I've been wondering about that too. Um, and the possible applications for Antiquitech um, beyond um, well-being and um, electroculture for plants. There's more going on, I think. And uh, we'll talk about that. And uh, some ideas and things I've been thinking about basically uh, this week. Um, there's going to be a lot in this post, got some juicy shit in this post, guys. But first, we're going to start off with news. The news th that is the Celtic Tatarian channel, previously before that, the, no, the Celtic Tatarian channel, which is now, or was, the Martin Liga channel, before that, the Martin Liga channel, before it got taken out the last time, um, no longer exists. I'm afraid it's gone. They deleted it. Um, they said they didn't have to give me reason, but they told me that. So a bit weird. Uh, so um, yeah, so um, that's gone. 1,100 videos, 10 years work, uh, 10 million views, something like that. Crazy amount of views um, and just some treasured moments and uh, things I can't really get back. I've got a lot saved, but... Um, I'm not going to be a go into any other formats like uh, Rumble or whatever. People suggest go over and do that. I'm not going to be doing that. I've got time in my life for that, guys. Just spent 10 years getting to this far. To, I think I'm going to have 10 years to do it all over again. The effort that it takes, I just, I haven't got it. And, you know, I'm tired now. <laughs> yeah. So... I've got a lot of them. I've got about like 50% of them videos. I would say I'm a hard drive kept, um, a lot of them anyway. Um, I'll just randomly put them up. The thing is, is things that I was saying like years ago um, in this new weird dictatorship they got going on is no longer permissible, you know? And I was saying all sorts back in the day, all the hangouts we used to have and stuff, we used to say everything. Um and it just goes to show, you know, um, the, you know, to where we got at, that you can't even say anything online anymore. You know, the, this law has gone down in Scotland, in um, Ireland, other countries where they um, basically, it's, it's like freedom of speech is not allowed. I shit you not, guys. It's, it's You can't even speak your mind. Um, and to question the official narrative, that, that's not allowed. You know, I love it the way that I don't really guess me that the way AI or the analytic is so subservient to the official narrative. It's like it's been programmed into it to not question anything, anything at all. Even stuff that is just theories that they, they just go with, you know, like gravity, stuff like that, evolution. Um, it's hard coded into its analytics. So it's based on bullshit, basically. And I feel like sometimes, you know, especially like, you know, all my channels at the moment are on active strikes, which means I could wake up any morning and my life's work is being wiped out and I'd be gone off the Internet. And I don't even know if I got it in me to be able to be doing all of that all over the fucking game. OK, I just don't think I just haven't got it. Um, there's other, more ways to skin a cat, obviously. I'll be able to get more public and do other things. But I'm in a precarious situation in YouTube is what I'm saying. And it doesn't take much, you know. And, I, you know, with my with my gob as well, you know, I'm constantly putting my foot in my mouth. I'm actually famous uh, where I live for putting my foot in my mouth. 
Um, so it's going to be really, really tricky, you know. And I, I went through my videos on this channel, sort of um, setting some of them that might be offending uh, to um, private, uh, about half a dozen or so of them. I'm off this channel, but like, you know, things we were saying in like 2020 and stuff, it's like, fuck, you can't even say anything anymore. Just pure Nazi. It's just gone totally fucking commie and Nazi. It's just all bollocks, all of it. So, yeah, that's gone forever. And that is a real shame. That is an institution. That is, I can't even believe that. So, but it, it matters not because we're going to just go on and uh, carry on going on, like, hence tonight okay if that makes sense <laughs> so i'm going to give you all shouts i'm going to tell you some places you might be able to uh, bump into me because i'm going to be out there in the world doing stuff very soon later on we're going to have a look at some absolutely amazing best meltology uh pictures that i've seen pretty hard to fucking deny that there's been some sort of plasma melt going on in cappadocia and the 1935 black and white photos but they're like best best uh melt melt uh photographs that i've seen Okay, uh, we're going to look into um, the Pandaverse and wonder if they're for real. Um, we got loads of like vintage photographs, colorized ones. We might go, depends on time, through Warsaw, Postum, maybe even a bit of Fontainebleau if we're in the mood for that. Um, I'm going to show you some images of the architectural, architectural hub, um, which is just mind-blowing feats of architecture. Um, labyrinth, we're going to think a lot of the Labyrinth, Knossos, Knossos, and um, David Bowie. Hey, we're going to pay homage <laughs> to David Bowie. Um, and a load of other stuff. It just depends on the time. But we are going to have, like, later on, after all of the juicage, we're going to have a happy little uh, session, okay? We're going to look at some um, foolishness. We like to do that on Epic Fails 4. Um, later on, we're going to look at uh, cute critters. If you know anybody that doesn't like cute critters, um, something deeply wrong with you. My mother, she never liked animals. She didn't like children, animals, or people. Um, unless, of course, they were like German sailors um, or American, American airmen. Um, but apart from that, everyone else could just go and fuck off. Um, but animals, you'd be like, get it away from me. Get it away from me. Yeah, fucking hell. So this, that was weird. Me, fucking hell. I look, I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll cut a worm. I'll hug a worm. I will. I don't care. They're living things. I know they're a bit slimy and I, but I'll use a better, um, any animal. They're all wicked. As long as one that don't bite your face off, obviously. But they don't anyway. That's just bullshit. You you can get on with lions and stuff. I think it's about I think it's all bollocks, guys. I see loads of monks hanging around with lions and stuff. Don't get eat, eaten. Uh, so later on, we're gonna have a little feel what it's like to be young and in love. Okay, we're gonna look at the love dance later on. You're gonna love that. That's gonna be lovely. It's a really lovely bit of footage. Um, and later on, fun of flatter day, loads of memes, comedy, all sorts and everything. But I really have got about, um, I had to cut this video in half. I was going to talk about earthquakes in the Eastern Mediterranean, Santorini event, etc. But I'm going to leave that to a later date because it's just too much. So um, I've cut that out. Uh, I've got some unbelievable, beautiful pictures in this. This is actually um, the absolute juice in posts. This is, guys, as I'm sure you'll agree. As I go through all of the beauty that we will behold today and the humor. So, does that sound good? That sounds like, sound like something you should miss? Hell no. Hell no, guys. Hell no, that would be a sin. Make sure to uh, subscribe to this channel. Not that it, it matters anymore, anyway, I don't think, because uh, the YouTube, the weight of YouTube is like, okay. <laughs> it's all going to be pushed aside like real people like myself doing this sort of thing and uh you know touching souls of other people that ain't going to be a thing anymore it's all going to be them ai robotic voices that literally make me want to smash my fucking telly up when i hear them they're just monotone there's no soul in them and they're like and they keep saying foreign words wrong it drives me mental because ai stupid as fuck says it all wrong because it can't do pronunciations so um I think I think I'm allowed to say that, aren't I? I don't even know what I'm allowed to say anymore. Fucking doesn't even matter anymore. So yeah, subscribe anyway. Like this video. Not that likes make any difference to the algorithms whatsoever. It's all about shares and it's all about um, views and stuff. But when you're uh, 
a truth there, okay? Um, unless you're like spreading fear and bullshit, whatever, yeah, something that they want you to be scared about, um, you ain't gonna be you ain't gonna be um, recommended or pushed by YouTube. I was on my old channel once. I actually seen me recommended, and I was literally trending for a little period. Uh, they do it like YouTube. But I don't know if it's a set thing for like a really short periods of time, and then boom, boom, they just take it. It just goes and all goes all of a sudden. It's like well, uh, then boom. Have all YouTubers experience it's a really weird thing that they got going on. It really does feel like they're gaslighting. Um, and it's like I, I didn't, you know, it's like being back in school. Um, they, it's like they, they're like my teachers or something where they're being naughty again. Oh, I'm going to go in for the cane and they keep telling you off. They keep telling me off all the time. They keep saying I'm saying stuff that I'm not supposed to say. Yeah, prove it. No, I ain't. Fucking no, I ain't. I'm saying uh, the truth. It's the stuff that they say. That's that should be fucking punishable. Not not what I say. Anyway, that's what I think. So anyway, Dylan, good to see you. Thanks for popping in earlier. Uh, hope your day is going splendidly. We're good. If it hasn't been going, oh curved water. I love curved water. If it hasn't been going splendidly up until now, it's still early days. Okay, guys, we'll just make things happen. What's that, Adam Cook, my brother? Much love to you. Um, AI saying your name wrong. What um Jason and Dallas uh flesh and blood, but still don't uh say their name correctly. They they can't understand me, my accent. It's it's brilliant. Um they just they just don't know what I'm saying. If you look at the um I've put captions in and I put subtitles in these videos because people are saying, I'm Mutton Jeff, can you sort it out, mate? So I have. And um I, I've looked it back and it's just fucking ridiculous what they do as well. And I noticed that if you say something like damn as well, they'll change it to fuck. I've seen them do it. It's like I never even swore then and you changed it to something worse. It's really evil. YouTube. Anyway, whatever. Google is, is our masters, apparently. Bob, good to see you. Long live flat earth British. Well, we still got this. It's just I've lost like, I think there was like 30, I don't even know. 33, 37, something like that. 1,000 subscribers, 30 or something subscribers and subscribers, guys. And um, they just got. So we're going to try and, like, you know, find some of them and come over and subscribe. Because some people didn't subscribe to both channels, you see. They just watched it all when I uploaded. Most stuff I put on you, yeah, I, I uploaded in to the other channels, as you know. <laughs> I had Alice Fowler. What's happening, Bray, matey? And getting here and aid soon. I'm all right with the um, with the, with the um, hearing at the moment. I've got a, like um, a perforated eardrum, you know, from baseball bat. I had bursted my eardrum, my smack in the head, like a... And um, so up until recently, I thought that I couldn't get water in it until I went into the ocean, the um, Gulf of Mexico, and it was warm, and it got in my ear and healed me, made me feel wonderful. And all them years, I'd be like, keep water out of years. Bullshit. Uh, you've been busted. Damn pain. Yeah, man. They, ch they chuck me out, man. I ain't favorable. <clears throat> and they're complaining today again about another video. I'm getting them nearly every other day. It's either, <coughs> so I'm either um, a bully. I'm a bully, apparently. Cyber so bully. Um, harassment. Whatever. Don't sass if you say anything about like Greta or something that is. Or Elon. Elon is just going to make everyone rich. What the fuck ever. And, um, oh, anyway, I don't, doesn't even matter anymore. L listen, right, guys, if you think for one second that I didn't know what I was doing and I would be getting all this heat, yeah, <laughs> yeah, of course I did. I knew, I knew they didn't want me to say it. I've been saying dangerous things and, and, and rightly so, because the truth is, uh, makes people scared to know the truth out, out of this fake paradigm they've got going on. Yeah. So I, I, and I, and I, I do like a little fight. I'm up for it. I'm up for the fight. Yeah, this is a war, by the way. This is a spiritual war. So I'm on the forefront of it. I've been on the front lines for years. So what do I expect? Collateral damage. They took out one of my armies, man. Yeah, my Tatarian army. I'll get over it. It's not the worst thing I've lost. Damn pain. <clears throat> Good to see you. Gregory, can't wait to show my uh, dance video later. Oh, it's, it's beautiful. You're going to cry. You're not going to cry. You're just going to be, oh, uh, what it was to be young. What was that, Shakespeare? 
<laughs> Shakespeare has a lot of sayings. He, he did um, moan a lot, but he did say about everyone's a total shit. Okay, in Shakespearean language, he said, everyone's a total shit. Be careful. Uh, the world is full of deceit. What was it? Oh, I can't remember. I don't like quoting Shakespeare anyway. Jewish Samaritan. Um, I love your visit to Gnome Mason statues, freaking legendary. Um, I don't know, Gnome Masons. Don't worry, we're going to look at statues and all sorts of stuff, and it's going to be amazing. It's going to be absolute juice. Pat, good to see you. Curved water. So, yeah, we don't let that get us down. We, we forge ahead. It, it just makes me stronger, guys. Anyway, every time they come at me, they think it hurts me, but it doesn't. It doesn't hurt me. It just makes me, they just don't know me very well. <clears throat> makes me more resilient. I'm fighting more. Combat Finn, kindest regards to you as well. Small time girl. Small time girl. Uh, Max Warburg. Um, somewhat or not. Have, have anyone been watching? Um, I watched it last night for the first time. Fallout. Well, I got Fallout the game on my phone. It's been a popular, you know, you get your radioactive and the rat attacks and the fucking raiders. You can see I got a little Fallout on my on my phone. I always play Fallout, which is out there, but it's lovely messing around in your little nuclear bunker. Um, they made it into um, a film, a program, and it's really, really good. And I thought it really interesting that they had the people in the vault had been down there 219 years. They knew nothing of the outside world at all, not even a, an imagination of what it could be like outside. And their environment was um, hol holography, holographic sky and environment. And, and I thought how easy that is. It's just up that a little bit, you know, holographic scenery, environment. We don't know what's outside of our parameters. It's exactly like being in a vault. We could just be in like a big vault, like I said already, Noah's Ark, a box, a cube, to be exact. <laughs> Reina, good day, Reina, in Aussie land. Uh, the kids say they aren't interested and think I'm crazy. Yeah, um, me and Lawrence were on about like um, millennial mentality. It is a strange one. I admit that it is a strange one because they've never had a struggle or do anything. They think the whole world holds them a favour and they'll cry like little bitches. It's probably stay home till about 30 or 40 as well because it's easier to live. And let's be honest, nobody's getting anywhere to live anymore and everyone's getting kicked out. They want everybody on the streets and they want everybody, all the houses just fucking empty. I wonder for who. I know fucking shit. That's coming. That's what's happening. Once in Bristol, they got all fucking, <coughs> fucking, they're all in camper vans because nobody, they're kicking everyone out. It's just fucking insanity. Britain is insanity. And, and you know what? They've been rioting or fighting in Cardiff City Centre last week. Yeah. We got a fuck ton of Palestinians here in, in uh, Cardiff, apparently. And they come out 20,000 singing and dancing and prancing a fucking round and playing up for one thing or another fucking other. And um, there's a bit on filmers on YouTube. Some guy, he's just like, he went past. He was like, you know, a patron of Cardiff. Somebody is from here. And um, he nearly got his fucking head kicked in for complaining. It's like, you ain't even allowed to complain about it. Oh, fuck me. So that ain't good either. Um, so all that's happening in Britain. Very unfavorable, and he's very close by as well. So, <clears throat> if you've looked at my community uh, posts this week, I've, I've given you my thoughts on um, the so called conflict, haven't I? 99% never got through. <laughs> um, <laughs> to, I do find it comical. I'm sorry, I don't, I, I don't know why I find it all comical because it's. It's so farcical. It's just like what everyone believes. I, you know, I watch one of these chat feeds. Honest to God, there's no, there's not even a word for how fucking dozy people are, guys. Honestly, it's just like, oh, it's fucking. They were like it two weeks ago. They felt like Jesus was going to pop out of the fucking eclipse. It's just like they get me this carried away with weirdness. It, they tell them something and then they just fuck off on their head. Fucks off with it. It's just absolutely craziness. <laughs> but that, yeah, they are. Um, it's a, it's um, it'd be robots. It's all robots these days. Robots fighting robots. God forbid anyone should break a fucking nail in this day and age. Anyway, so I better be careful what I say because I don't even know what I'm allowed to say anymore. Um, let's give it a go anyway. Um, dinosaurs. There's dinosaurs. Um, 
watery, watery balls. Uh, black, black matter. It's black matter. Uh, gravitational engine is real. Um, and there's space, space. Okay, tune that again. Watch now. This will go fucking viral. It's like, yeah, man. Yeah, man. I was going to do that April Fool's Day. I was going to tell you all, nah, man, it ain't flat. I fucking got globy. But I knew you would all knew I was bullshitting, so I didn't bother. But it would have been good fun. But it's been done anyway. It's been done. Yeah. Plus, once you're flat, you never go back. That's like literally completely impossible. I can't believe anybody that has said they're flat and they're going back has either been paid a fuck ton of money. Yeah, I know. How do they eat? T vexes. Let's let's watch this, right? Let's watch this. I'm starving to death, right? Never mind I'm having sex. Dark dragons, yeah, they're dragon bones. They are part of the dragon bones, babe. Okay. Let's have a watch, right? Yeah. So the flizzer might just start off. Okay. Do you see the problem? That's why they're extinct, not the KT impact. Okay. So yeah, they, they like to stick dinosaurs on some um, oil paintings that I've seen and stuff, but um, I think it's just like Jason says, like vapor canopy stuff, big critters and stuff. I've seen like immense birds and big other things as well. I prefer like little things, like little donkeys. You get donkeys this big. <laughs> what does I say? So, um, S. Lee, what's that? Um, the arms are small because they rest on a wing. Um, yeah, because um, they evolved the dinosaurs. And do you know they became chickens? That we eat yeah yeah she met domestic chicken is a form of dinosaur it's evolved do you know what i used to i don't i don't hate on anybody and i, I don't don't even got that words in my vocabulary so i just erased that i just said that right okay, that didn't happen um but richard dawkins richard dawkins yeah i get like psycho feelings about richard dawkins i don't even know why he's just like the words that come out of his mouth make me hot <laughs> and i'm um, psycho he just talks too much bullshit it's unfucking believable oh uh, we've been your eons we've been your eons do you see the length of my nail well that's how long human civilization since um we came out of the kalahari desert and when we all came out of africa and all the rest of time it's the eons and the eons and the eons that this planet has had to geologically evolve and do you know how it happened <laughs> it, it got bombarded it got bombarded by endless amounts of meteors and they all clustered together they had the later bombardment the early bombardments and even the later later bombardment yeah 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 and it all coalesced into a big watery ball right okay where does all the water come from then um comets delivered them Oh, yeah, but comets ain't watery balls anymore. When you look on Google, they're not plasma, aren't they? So you can't really say that. Oh, are they? Oh, yeah, yeah, they're not water. Uh, they're plasma. Oh, they're going to check. Yeah, fucking check. So, um, fact check. Fact check, bitch. So, um, yeah, so it's not comets that are delivered all the water, has it? So where is it coming from? Hmm? Hmm? Well, I'll tell you where it came from. Big, massive hose pipes that build it all up when they set up the sound stage for this place mind you the pacific ocean is rather big actually but um you know we don't know how big it is outside this could be just a tiny little thing and it's all really, really massive out there i really do think that there's more going on i really do think that antarctica is a thing isn't it weird though that they're, they're all like playing chinese burns and handbags at dawn and political bullshit in the eu eu e or is it the un eu <laughs> the un they all get together and say shit yeah and um and they'll say oh, i think they should reconsider oh yeah we don't want escalation oh it's gonna be world war three because they've got nuclear bombs have you got have they got nuclear bombs anyway fuck me i thought it was all bullshit and that's why they got rid of all the nuclear bunkers after the cold war what and they thought they weren't playing anymore they didn't even de-escalate nuclear weapons they didn't even mention them again it's like shut the fuck up there's no nuclear weapons. I can't believe they've been around all that time. And the only two that have ever gone off in 1945 in Japan makes no sense, does it? You know, you think they would have had one nutter by now. Yeah. Fucking how many nutters have there been in the last, like, what about Pol Pot? Pol Pot have got his hands on a, on a, on a fucking, on a, on a suitcase nuke. He'd have let it off. He'd have fucking killed loads. He wanted to kill everybody, didn't he? There's a moon up there. Anyway, I'm just going on. Let's get into some juice. Okay, let's get comfortable. 
I see you all go on. 385 of you listening to me. I don't even know what I just said. Somebody's starting in German. Ian, good to see you. Um, a platypus riding a neurosaurus. Um, yeah, no, I don't know. I don't think any of this real. You know, I've been, I got kicked out of the Welsh Museum and had security guards all over me for saying their chicken, their, their dinosaur bones were chicken bones. And it went nuts for me taking photographs. They literally kicked me out and got all like, we're going to fuck you up. It's like a free museum for the Welsh public. And it was got all like weirds on me over dinosaurs. <laughs> it's like, yeah, because the Smithsonian haven't got any either, have they? They lock off, apparently, they locked away in all of what we ever see of dinosaurs are fake. And like, they can't deny you because the Smithsonian locked any, anything real away, as you know. Uh, there's another one. Oh, dear fucking God almighty. Plagiarizes my fucking book title. Yeah. Now he wants you to all own fucking nothing and be happy about it. Eat, eat fucking bugs. Yeah. None of that. None of that is going to happen. You know that, don't you? <laughs> I'm just wondering what it takes for humanity to actually stand up and do anything. I noticed they got loads of like big protests yeah protest is big in the illuminati handbook by the way because that's how they control the opposition is that their people you know they're so brave and um for bullshit reasons for nothing real it's just insane it's all the wrong reasons you know we need to the weather will go back to normal when you start paying more taxes Okay, that's what it's all about. Soon it'll go back. Just pay more money. We'll call it something else for the next generation. <laughs> Is Klaus Schwab dead? I don't think so. I don't think he's dead. I don't know. I don't think he's real anyway. That picture him on a beach in a little pink tutu. Um, I'm not sure if that is, that's a real picture either, is it? Because it might be real. I don't know. And there's another one of him in a suit wearing Space Force uniform. Uh, Osgard, yeah. Um, but I don't think that's a thing. All of them are so dodgy. They all go to all of these opening. Do you know them um, Olympic opening ceremonies, the dodgy Olympic opening ceremonies? They've been going on way back, way back. I mean, even when they were doing like opening ceremonies in the 60s and stuff, they were doing all, all that predictive programming of the shit that come down later in them, like they did with the last uh, two. Um, oh, man, for president. Oh, well, let's have a think about that. Um, I thought about if, okay, so if by some fluke thing, okay, something like happens like everybody don't want them anymore and they want other people to, to be leaders, I got, I got leadership qualities. I think I should lead. I think I should lead, okay? And I'm not going to go all nuts like it uh, and leave you to oblivion. That's not going to happen because my I'm just not wired like that. It will be absolutely beautiful, like Celestine prophecy for everybody. And everybody will be happy on earth. I mean, everybody. There will be no opposition. Nationalism will be a thing of the past. Um, obviously, they're not going to allow me to dissolve all world religions. They'll go really fucking nuts about all of that. But it's definitely a possibility. So, <laughs> so yeah, um, I was thinking about it. Maybe we could have like Jason, Jason Brashears, Archaics, um, Rule America. No, really, rule America. I rule Britain. Yeah, he could have like John Levy as his um, as his arts minister, you know, or stuff like that. He could like appoint people as like new cabinet, but it won't be done in the way of the Roman cabinet and um, all of the senators and stuff like that. Hey, no, 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 no. Okay, there will be a parliament because obviously we're not going to do an Adolf Hitler and dissolve parliament day one, giving you absolute power and control over the masses, because that would not be good. That would be a dictatorship over a democracy. But I don't like democracies either. I don't like communism, national socialism or any of these weird things. So basically, it's going to be new. It's going to be new and it's going to be based on love. Yeah, that'll be novel, won't it? They won't like that, will they? It's like everybody's just being kind and really groovy. Can you imagine a really groovy place where everyone's just like high-fiving one another? Yeah, fucking all. And not believing all the weird stuff and going all weird like they did a couple of years ago. Remember all that? Yeah. 
It's not wars, though. Maybe they should have another big lockdown, and that'll stop them throwing missiles at one another because they won't be allowed out. Yeah. Well, they all packed in war, didn't they, when, uh, when it was all locked down? It was groovy days. I loved lockdown. Lockdown was amazing. Yeah. Um, but there was no wars because basically there was no one out to play, was there? Everyone's locked in their cave or whatever over there. So um, they're all in the desert anyway. I'm not actually all that bothered, you know? Let them all carry on. <sighs> Oh, that's not my not my prop. It's not my it's not my bag. <laughs> that sounds selfish. <clears throat> um, sixteen alpha, but the same token, I don't want anyone blown up and killed. Any anyone, because that would be bullshit. Okay, unless it's done with the power of your mind. <laughs> okay. Keep practicing scanners. One day you'll get it. Okay, and they won't be able to. Could be anybody, any of these, any of these fuckers here could have been, could have been thinking at that guy when his head exploded. Why, what, what makes you think it's me? Prove it. You can't prove it. You can't prove I was thinking like explode his head. Can you? <laughs> it's quite brilliant, isn't it? I know. I love, I love it. It's, it's a little bit low level evil, but it's enough. Okay. Misty, good to see you, lovely little. Can DNA be trusted? I don't think Crick and. Uh, I don't think the and you know, no, they're Freemasonic, aren't they? They're number thirty-three. They're built in the Crick Building in London, and um, and when they done the old, um, oh, you know, we spent ten years breaking it down, um, the DNA code. Um, no, I think it's maybe works to a certain extent, but like I don't think it's what they say. I, I really don't. Same as radiocarbon dating, uh, you know, that's just like that's bullshit. So. Because they're dealing with timescales that actually add there. Um, these geological processes can happen like really quickly. They just dug up a World War II tank, yeah, turned to rock in 70 fucking years. It turned to rock, guys. So this this process can happen quickly. Okay, James, Professor Brian Cock, don't call him that. Yeah, that, that it's not. It's not. Things can only get better. Um, said we don't, uh, no, no, I'm not going to even quote, um, sorry, sorry, James, but we don't quote uh, Brian Cockless Cox. It's just one of those things we just don't do because that would me give meaning to his words. Brian, Brian, wipe that smile off your face. Yeah, I don't know what you're smiling about. You've got a hell to pay later. <laughs> smile now, pay later. You watch when your contracts are coming in with a pineapple, coming in with a pineapple deep boy. That's what happens. <coughs> And he'd be, he'd be going to heaven as well, Brian Cox, singing, sing if you're proud to be gay, sing if you're happy this way. That'd be his number one song. Because boats went over the curve. So, yeah, tonight to Martin, that would be absolutely sp splendid. And then I will be I will be more than the point of two pounds. That would be awesome. Um, the Tan Man 3000, I'm working on my tan. I got like a little tiny bit of sun tan today. Yeah. More, more sent time to come. So, yeah, tomorrow I'm going to get into the juice now. 422 of you. I'm going to start, or 50 of you. I'm going to start going through some information with you now. We're going to, I'm going to start talking juicy stuff. So, tomorrow night, um, I'm going over to Archaic's channel as a guest. So, keep a look out for that. I'll share it. Um, apparently, Big John has been going through thousands of new books, and there's all like, I've seen some of these photos. I haven't actually seen any of them before. And you don't see any of these on Google. Google searches. Uh, so we're gonna chew the fat and I'm gonna we're gonna go through all of these pictures and stuff. Okay. Um I find some common ground because both think the place got resetted. Um plasma reset, the Phoenix phenomena is um another I, I've been calling it something else uh, for some years, but along the same exact same uh narrative so we're going to be having a chat so that's tomorrow um i got um new new um things happening in uh, the near future let's just get into the juice shall we okay make sure to share this out guys i'm going to leave my camera on because then when people like screenshot and uh take my pictures and take it off to their channels they'll have a little picture of me in the corner so they can so people know where they found it it's my new it's my new thought because See some guy, um, who was it? Uh, sent me, oh, fucking hell, who was it? It's 
Steve Rads sends me an email. He says, check this guy. So there's this black guy in America. He's got like 1.5 million views, uh, subscribers. And he's literally word for word repeating one of my six-year-old vlogs. Like literally word for word. It's like he must have just took notes, wrote it down and copied it. To that extent, I was like, it's happening all the time, guys. Anyway, whatever. It is what it is. Um, but yeah, but like at the end of the day, God knows what I've done. So I feel good about it. He's like, well, I'm feeling a little shit. He ain't feeling good about anything. None of them are. I can tell you that for nothing. It's, well, it's the way things go down in this round, guys. Yeah, I've been around a while now, me. I'm working it out. Eventually, I've worked it out. And what, about, what do I know? Absolutely nothing of this round. Except for some basic fundamentals, like the geoma geometric builder or the fractal builder of the realm that we live in. Um, contrary to the um, theory of quantum mechanics, let's say that. This is uh, unlike the double split experiment that we can't really practice in our kitchens and at home. This experiment, the cymatics experiment, can be carried out at home and repeated. This is accurate science. Okay. So what we discovered and what we thought, okay, is that um, different frequencies, cymatic frequencies, have a different beautiful geometry, as you can see here. Human cell of DNA, well, or whatever that is. Um, I think molecules are definitely a thing. For, as for atoms, I'm not sure. Okay. So what we found is the church windows, okay, that we see here and here were cymatic patterns. So we were seeing sound. We were seeing sound coming through these windows and on the other side of the windows are these colossal, in some cases, organs. Yeah, and they were a different, they were different to what they've toned them right down and the music right down now with um with the organ music for sure, definitely. Um, but before it was exceptionally loud, it would come through these uh, portals, if you like, um, and set at a different frequency. So, and uh, cathedrals, uh, stained glass windows, and the rose glass, the rose windows have lead content. It's all a technology. Okay. So then we got the thinking, um, you know, we see loads of churches that have a, like a, basically a speaker that puts out 432 or a frequency whatever set frequency at that moment is going on with the organ inside and it will emanate through the window because of the way the window set up with the lead and the rose crystal which are the rose windows we've already looked into that um sound was resonating through these things and portals holes these things there some of them are blocked up <coughs> so for what good reason would that be for what good reason would that be there's one there as you can see so we thought um, in the golden age of so-called taria um in the past then these things were giving out um frequencies for the benefit of people so people were living a lot longer uh, i think being like a bigger stature i really do living a lot longer um, and the plants and uh, grass and air, even the ether, would benefit. And I think like electoral culture as well, I think you would have um, a lot more. Uh, and here's these altarpieces there, craziness there. We'll look into them a little bit later. So um, with um, sound and vision, so what we have found with a lot of um, this especially with the Gothic architecture, but we're seeing it with uh, Phoenician architecture, is that it is frozen music. Now, this is an old idea. Um, they said that Roslyn Chapel, um, all of the knobbly bits um, were in fact musical designations and they literally wrote a medieval score out of this. But these as well, okay, is, is sound um, that you can like literally see and these two and i'll need to uh just show you some more <clears throat> excuse me 
Now, the Asians definitely, you know, don't ever est under, underestimate um, the intelligence of the Asians because I think that they were far beyond us. Their, their, their thinking was just, they were transcendental for a start off. So they were thinking in spiritual terms. They wouldn't have had all of that hang up that, you know, people of the 21st century have which is mostly bullshit, isn't it? So you can see the, the Greeks, uh, they had, um, you know, knowledge of geometry. In the banding as well, you see beautiful geometric patterns as well, uh, because, you know, they can, some, some of these people, especially the mystics, had seen this geometry with their own eyes, maybe under um, spiritual circumstances or meditation or even... Um, under the influence of certain psychedelic compounds. This is what we see. Stars in the sky, also somatic frequencies. In water, they are a light that travels to us, that's not far away, and is literally, to me, like the Truman Show, pff, that shit's a light. Literally, all of that up there could be, it could, it, it could literally be just like on the, um, the Truman Show or on um, this new uh, fallout, which is brilliant, by the way. Holographic display. <laughs> so here again with beautiful geometry in ancient, what looks like Syrian. And we've got what looks like cuneiform here and sacred geometry. Completely aware of it. All these old cultures here. Secret geometry sacred geometry and here as well you see the flower of life appearing down here as well so they knew about the way that reality was you know when you get down to the fundamental building blocks you know they you don't you know the only atomus and the atom idea um is not um actually widespread thinking for the ancient world it doesn't come into it until later with the um, you know uh, to me quantum mechanics is a rehash of kabbalah it's exactly the same guys you read kabbalah you're reading quantum fucking mechanics i shit you not it's exactly the same they've just ripped it off rehashed it read it for yourself so yeah um ancient babylonians romans greeks all knew about um they knew about cymatics. So um, as for DNA, yeah, um, I haven't seen any much evidence. I did see one experiment by coincidentally Brian Cox um, on probably the universe program or whatever, um, where he put um, orange juice in a cup. He give it a shake because he does that a lot. Um, and he ended up like with all these strands in there. And he said, these strands are the double helix. I was like, can you mag up and we can have a look? Because shit, shit you not, still to this day, I've not witnessed with my own eyes uh, the double helix. Have you? I didn't think you had. <laughs> anyway, it's just narratives, isn't it? Because at the end of the day, this thing is a computer that we're in. Some sort of Tron experience. And we're players. I'm a player, apparently. Apparently, I'm the internet worm. I wonder why they got rid of all my work. Lifetime's work. I thought that was valuable to humanity. Why would they do that? So, yeah. The work of Yamoto. So, yeah. Basically, um, you can get um, a perfect uh, sound visualization. Uh, in water, when you put frequency in water. Also, like this, water will change into. So, bad vibrational words have been proved. This is not a theory. You, just, you can do this experiment yourself. Bad vibrational words like H-A-T-E and um, other nasty words, um, they just look like crap um, on the when you look at the somatics for it, but words like beauty and love, um, they just look I like, like divine, like divine. And you could, this is the experiment. You can do this with uh, playing um, 
high pitch frequency, maybe electrically through a plate and put some iron filings or some sand down and you get a different setting for each vibrational quality. <clears throat> like the water image on that's 432 there, which is my healing. Uh, I leave 432 on most evenings just to in the background. Um, even when I'm doing my YouTube stuff um, to, excuse me, because I think I really do think it heals. Can't leave it on too long because it sort of gets in my head a bit. But yeah, it is definitely healing. Uh, some vibrating in water. So um, also, uh, some of an essence is a light made of sounds. Now, star in a jar, yeah? Star in a jar, you get that liquid. You get that sound put in it. The star lights up in the jar. We've all seen this experiment. I can't replicate it. I've got the equipment, but I would like to. But I think it's a real thing. Okay, bioluminescence, uh, sonoluminescence, excuse me, is certainly a thing. Okay, um, so we are mainly made of water, so we get our vibration right, okay, and get that sound, and we too will be starting jazz. We will light up, which is why you see all of these uh, saints and angels and everything else, and Jesus and all the rest, all glowing with their aura because they have lit up. In water, sound with the right frequency can produce super hot bubbles that create a flash of light when it collapses. Star in a jar. You can boil water with the sound. Towers you see in um, power plants, the big stacks, they are acoustic cooling towers. They use sound to cool. But you can also boil water using sound. And we're made of water. They found the right sound. They could boil a lot of us. <laughs> if words affect the frequency of water, imagine what they are doing to your body. So, uh, guys, I wouldn't risk it. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it to another brother or a sister by thinking ugly thoughts at them. I just don't do it, except when I'm trying to explode their heads. But, like, to be honest with you, like, you know, they had to come in. It's like, you know, they need to reconsider because they're going to get sent off to war soon, these um you know, wake or being awake or woke, I should say, is not being awake. Um, so Mozart's symphony, John Lennon's Imagine, ah, oh, um, love, ah, oh, we're gonna look at the love dance later, and we're gonna remember what it was to be young and in love. Um, for prayer or, or alter, you can call it love's, love's uh, got no, it's ageless, that is the best because all that other stuff, I don't even know why people give their attention for all the negative shit. Peace, thank you. And look at the state of I will kill you. <laughs> so, yeah, if we um, change our vibration, all will be well. We're going to feel absolutely fantastic. So there's water. Thank you. Uh, wisdom, truth, eternity. You fool, peace. I love you, angel. Oh. And then it all goes to shit, don't you? When you've got evil, polluted water before prayer polluted water uh, after prayer you make me sick so anything negative like i read this literally daily oh i'm sick and tired of this i'm sick and tired of that i got a lot to be sick and tired about guys right but i don't do it i don't do it i look for a silver liner miner yeah shit now won't be later you know that sort of thing so you just like it's, it's like just an exchange but look at that it's so beautiful and so trippy isn't it the uh geometry in this place and that is real that's what it looks like here this place when you get down to it when a vibration of sound blue blue electric blue that's the color of my room oh no that's blue blue sound of vision is a completely different song makes you wonder sometimes about sound and vision so david bowie he knew a thing or two the tavistock gave him the handbook didn't they he was doing the old black sun and his last bow and before he walked off the stage because that's all he was as an actor davy jones just like they all went to a special school a lot of them went to the london school of economics like mick jagger like mick jagger what the fuck is he doing in the School of Economics? Drip, anyway. So, musical buildings. In the past, we call someone a drip. A drip is not, like, negative. It just means they're, like, a drip. Some people are like a drip, guys. I'm sorry. Yeah? We fucking with it in this gaff. 
Anyway, so Fenugia, um, I found these uh, old Kirschner books, Fenugia books uh, from years ago, <laughs> which give you buildings that were actually musical instruments. So with these, I got to think, well, why would they do that? Is that just for what they're doing is for just the Batman people? And then after my last post, when I thought about, well, it's a good chance that the Phoenicians were blind or a lot of arrivals are blind. Then I thought about 3D imagery. Now, I used to practice riding my bike with my eyes closed. And like that guy in LA who can click on his bike, click, 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 click. Blind guy, he can echolocate, comes back and he knows when there's a wall because he knows the difference. So if it was blind people in the past, now, if the buildings like, you know, I'll give you an example. The um, uh, King's Chamber in the Pyramid of Giza, the Great Pyramid of Giza, is called the whistle, the Whistling Chamber. It is audible. If you go in the pyramid, you can hear this chamber of uh, stones that are like chevrons, one on top of the other, stacking technology. Um, it gives off an audible tune. It sings. It sings. Okay, so buildings in the past were musical. They sung. And if you're blind and you could hear it, the frequency. And I kind of thinking that you would be able to basically 3D imagery and navigate the streets if the buildings were creating music. And the sculptures and the, you know, the crazy Phoenician stuff you see all over the buildings that came later, remember, Um you would be able to identify each building by its different statues and its different style, a bit like Braille, but in buildings and even touch of these buildings. Um, I think they could use that application. If they didn't, they should have, because I think it would have worked. So you can see um, orchestra here in this image, putting music out into the ether. Is it like church bells and organ and just this beautiful sound? in the air years ago. Can you imagine how wonderful that would have been? Oh, guys, it just must have been fantastic if that's the case. So these images uh, from Phoenicians, they, they show you these, which um, some people have posted, I've seen it on TikTok, that these things were for spying on people in the piazza. Yeah, um, I, I, I've not seen um, any verbal evidence that that's happening. The pictures don't really show that, okay? So what, you're telling me this guy's got a highly technical device that can separate all of the different conversations in the piazza, yeah, and probably record it and break it down later in the Secret Service fucking office, yeah? Uh, but, like, all of these people can see the big fuck-off year that's sticking out of the wall, so they're naturally going to keep quiet about any of their subversive ideas or secrets, aren't they? So none of that makes any sense. These were like speakers, and this was some sort of gramophone, and it was putting music out. And here's some of these crazy Phoenician organs of the past. So I imagine after a reset, they came into these old uh, healing centres when before they called them churches for worship and they found these organs and they're like what the, what's going on with them then and then they put in a harpsichord or the early stringed instruments and then discovered it rediscovered it so you can see here in um, like what looks like a german building but the chimneys have got loads of different chimneys here and they are like flutes, if you like, You've got fluted buildings. This is that image in better quality. I've got it in color as well. Uh, these are just like massive speakers, aren't they? But this is like a conical shell I've noticed as well. There's one there facing down. I don't believe for a second. I don't even know why I listen, listen to that. That's not spying on the public. The public is shut up if they see the big speakers sticking out of the wall. Shh, the fucking speaker. So that makes no sense unless they're concealed behind bricks or something. So, yeah, um, musical boxes and bells used in buildings for that beautiful tone and, oh, and snowflake geometry in technology. Absolutely beautiful, just like the somatic windows of churches. And that thing would spin. And that thing there 
which looks so technological considering the data of these things. Look at this thing. What does it do? It does it create sound? Create a sound, um, like the, I think all of them, are, all of these uh, Phoenician we you know, weapons and tools are all to do with sound. The caduceus, I think the, you know, the, the conical, the, you know, you see them, all of them with trumpets. And look at these things, though. So he's doing something in there, and he's uh, making sound to all of these things, yeah. Sorry, it's like really early at Latin, and I, I just can't understand it. And this builds in your giant flute, and it goes from one side to the other, and maybe steam powered. I was thinking, and give off a giant sound. And also these buildings, which look exactly like flutes, don't they? Because they are, and they had a technology for why waste your um, chimney smoke when you can turn it into a fluted sound, or um, why waste your heating when you can make it into fluted sound, or um, the organs that like all the elites had organs in their houses in the past why are they doing it is it for 3d mapping and imagery for the blind or that could be one possible application but the rest healing centers you went in a church so yeah i don't think he's let lit stand in there like gestapo listening to all the different conversations going on outside with this machine that makes no no sense to me whatsoever no. Imagine uh, the fat herd around the world with resulting scent smell. They haven't got smelly vision. They've got a sm smellometer on Futurama uh, where you can smell a scope, where you can smell space. Um, but as for smelly vision, they should invent it. Eh? Yeah. Like for nice cooking programs and now you can smell it. They would be able to do it. They just sexy it up, wouldn't they? Just smell this woman's perfume. Mm, lovely. You know? Actually, it smells a bit like cat's pee. Because it does. That's what they're giving. You know that, don't you? Piss and poop. <laughs> so this thing spins around. The wind goes in it. And as it spins, it gives off a, whoosh, a loud uh, sound uh, for technasmia. There also in the streets of <coughs> Italy or wherever that was. <laughs> and these things, the European Zoological Association, okay, the, the canopy, the wonderful, um, whatever that says, I can't even see it, steam or steam powered. So I think that was happening in a lot of them. Um, I have heard steam pipes in the past, Victorian, where was that? I think it was like Doddington Castle, something like that on a school trip, and it sounded really brilliant like the steam pipes and buildings as well were built with music in mind like this you get chamber orchestras looks like a little lute musical music and pipes now remember pan pan has pipes okay he calls the people in using sound on his pan pipes the Pi Piper, who is Pan, uses uh, the flute to get people to follow him into whatever oblivion. So this um, sound narrative is something that they use, the gods, if you like. So um, will they be back? Well, can, are they there? Are they watching now? Probably some really futuristic technological sense, guys rather than all just magical mystery, you know, religious-y stuff. I think it's all technology, just forward technology. <laughs> Excuse me. So these are um, different cymatic uh, patterns that have been infused in stone. So the, these are a lot of them in India and the East. Their names are, have the word vault in it. How did they do it? How did they produce these things? How can you carve these? Perfect. Geometrical patterns out of stone. Oh, that looks like an eye, doesn't it? 
But again, with the sacred geometry, I think we got an alpha and omega, maybe that side, that side. I'm not actually sure. Maybe. <laughs> so the ancients knew all about sacred geometry. So how did they do, you know, these incredible feats? Now, I think they could have, uh, with especially with some of these statues that we've been talking about, is that they create a sound that softens stone. Uh, music. That's a musical frequency. That softens stone. And then, then, freezed. Freezed in a moment. And I think that's what they're doing with the ceilings and with some of these old statues that we're witnessing um, because they are made of stone, you know, marble, one single block of marble um, in some of these. So, yeah, crazy that they knew they were this advanced in the past. Flower of life, replicating it, all of it. They didn't even know about the four angels in that carving, ancient carving there. And naked geometry. All of this is replicated in sacred principles in architecture. So the buildings of our world were visualized sound, especially the Nobili churches in France. We'll look at a couple later in Fontainebleau, maybe. Um, Amiens church, these churches with a thousand million nobbly bits on them. It, it, it's music. It is music. It's music and form and it's frozen in an instant. Maybe when these stones were, were uh, softened by another uh, frequency. Another way they could have done it is um, they could have had a pool of water um, underneath. Uh, maybe it was uh, done on a, you know, on a large curtain wall, a large stone, but so you get the frequency the somatic pattern in the water yeah maybe even put lights through it um and then it'd be like a template for the stone and then maybe chisel it out or maybe the stone is soft and it would be imprinted in it like a turin shroudage along those lines because these are miracles how they're even doing um these ceilings in um in india with that much intricacy the intricacy of lace uh, with chisels in antiquity makes no sense to me guys um but they had a mystery how they're even done uh the purpose well the geometric so the sound in visualization this is a, a consciousness shifting experience when you go in there the ancients knew all about it and they put it into stone and they put it Look at that, guys, into the ceilings and the windows. It's just mind-blowing, isn't it? Just the intricacy. So they put a vibrational quality through it and they set it, is my guess. And with a lot of the, with a lot of it, you can soften stone with a sound, you can boil water with it, you can de-aggregate it, you can explode it with a sound. But some of these, uh, excuse me, some of these um, examples are a little small. <clears throat> excuse me. This one, people have thought looks like just like a jet engine. Um, yes, it does, but I don't think that's the technology behind it. But it is a technology. Also, these, you see these in Iran. Oh, my God, they are absolutely beautiful. They are just so sumptuous. And I think that they, uh, they would be definitely um, a contender for cymatic setting should we call it that cymatic setting um the old voltage ceilings as well it's too intricate for words um cymatic setting i think that's that's the thing i think i just invented that i think i think that's the thing so that's what i'm thinking is that they are possibly 3d imagery um that you could see it if you were blind if that makes any sense with echolocation, but definitely for the benefit of humanity. I can't think of any negative things unless, like we've mentioned in the past, Antiquitech went wrong um, and in the circuit board fused and there was a meltdown, which we're going to have a look at in a little bit with Cappadocia. Okay, this one certainly looks like a jet engine. Some of these ceilings are just mind-blowing. If you think that, you know, 
copper chisels. But there's a lot going on in this. It looks highly technological. These blocks look like something out of, um, I don't know, Indiana Jones crossed with Battlestar Galactica. It's just, what is it? It looks so futuristic and technological. So, but it's made of stone. Okay, I don't think this miraculously springs into life, although I've seen a lot of things just recently on television which show you statues spring into life, which I thought was quite interesting. Look at that, guys. So you can imagine if you were underneath it and you um, did maybe uh, throat chanting and it hits this, I can imagine you just, I can't, the, the, what it does to your consciousness and to these things anyway. And if you do that, like a thing going on, um, I think it would blow your mind. Look at that. Well, you shells again, got the Phoenician steel of shells. But this thing's tearing down, ever decreasing, messed in technology. And at the end, something that looks like it might give off some sort of charge or beam if you're standing directly underneath it, which I definitely think is the case. That is a highly developed form of technology set in stone, guys. The benefits, <laughs> transcendental. Something we haven't even thought about yet because it's that good. Can you imagine that? It's like we got... You know, I, I, I was thinking to myself when I was like trying to like, you know, what's the meaning of life thought the other day and I was getting off this philosophical and I thought, wow, it's so poxy. We got these five senses and all of this stuff going on. We're all missing. It's just like a prison for the mind, you know, and then our memories wiped. So we don't remember where we came from or what we were before. That was fucking sick. But when you start to get like shivers in your body and that and it's like oh shit what was that it's like you're starting to remember because that's all this is this learning thing we're doing is just remembering old uh, technologies and the way this place was they tell you we were chucking buckets of shit off to the window one another and we were all double stupid that looks like a wristwatch um but they are making these things in the middle ages in temples in india a highly advanced form of technology and they literally know they're not going with quantum mechanics they know about the geometry and the factual nature of the universe they're showing you there and they got the lily in the uh, the lotus uh, leaves bursting out lotus shape of the earth um, they know everything about this mandala show you the place that we live anyway it's got four angels mount meru it's got the whole thing <sighs> My God, I can't imagine how that would affect you walking in there. I've seen a vaulted ceiling in uh, Cardiff Castle, apparently worth like 80 million, called the Arab Room. And they would block you from standing directly underneath it. But you did. When you went in there, um, it just altered you. You just felt stuff going on. It was like, yeah, what's that? You know, you were aware of a change in you because of the vibration off of the nested stones and the structure of the, you know, bouncing, the technosmia bouncing off on all of this. It's just, if you could visualize it, it'd blow your fucking head off. There'd be so much going on. It's unbelievable. And all of these bullshit scientists they brought in to cover up the true nature of our reality. But they didn't expect everybody to get down and funky and actually witness it for themselves, did they? Look at that, guys. You get church windows as, as, uh, as detailed as that as well. Just mind-blowing. That looks a bit like a wristwatch. I think that's that one we've seen before. So as for carving, I don't know. They only had copper chisels back in the day. I don't really buy any of that. You can't carve it. If you go wrong, you've got to... There's no room for error. If you make a mistake, you've got to chop the whole ceiling down and start again, haven't you? don't think they're replaceable. Wow. Look at that one. Look at that. Banding all the way around it. It's a bit chaotic. It's not got any symmetry to it, this banding. It's weird. <clears throat> it's the same there as there, but there is just all weird, and there's all weird. It's broken by there. Oh, it's broken there. I think it's broken. I think a bit come off. Yeah, I do. I think a bit come off there. 
so the loops around to there yeah that's true that's it and there's a bit there that goes to there yeah all right it is the same all the way around there's just bits missing <laughs> but it's proper old so no no shit so how much we don't know about our past guys how they could create such unbelievable things look at this imagine them doing this in the modern day and then you got to think about well, what was their practical application Psh, well they're in temples aren't they look at that that's the thumbnail for this video that looks like uh radial Aryans getting right down into the nitty-gritty of buildings we talked about that haven't we you know remember when lee flat with british and um broody but with radial Aryans and and like just the intricacy of it all when you get down to the nitty-gritty of reality and so much of this in the ancient world look at that you got all the deities all the way around so the deities they could all be existing in just another realm couldn't they all of them lot quite close by got the elite thing going on because they seem a bit elitist don't they they're not really down with the people are they they're always so it's a bit me 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 isn't it with all of them so that's going to need to be addressed as well so yeah vote for me <sighs> I put it out there now into the ether anyway, guys, haven't I? You know, Martin for leader of Britain. That one they got in now just said he's going to kick a million people off the sick in Britain. Yeah. If, you, if you've been moaning you're mentally ill because of Rona, uh, that, that don't wash anymore because that shit never went down. Yeah. This is a new era. We forget about that. We're moving on. So he did that on everyone this morning. So... It's crazy. And he's not, people fucking hate him here because he's not like the people. He's not one of us, you know. <laughs> we had crusty politicians like Callahan in the past, you know, fucking, he was a Brit. Um, but this, you know, he's like an elitist, a billionaire, and he's talking from their standpoint. And most people in Britain are just like everywhere else, just ordinary people. So that's what we could do. It's good. It's like royalty is weird, isn't it? How we all just like, um, submit to this weird thing where they they just say uh, we own all the land uh, we own everything um and you gotta keep paying us taxes they just say that and everyone gotta just do it it's like what it's like well can i say my family rule the world and stuff and you give all me all your tax no 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 it doesn't work like that gotta give it to us so what would be nice is if all of that could just be like you know got rid of and shared out maybe the spoils of all of that and they could be moved into council houses um and made to go on unemployment benefit really be cool seeing all of the royals queuing up at the dss to get their benefits wasn't it yeah they cry and they grizzle but they have to do it because other people got who haven't they so that would be awesome if that could happen because i don't think they're gonna there's no future for them is there you know we got a new thing going on now haven't we Mike leaker for leader of the free world okay we're gonna look at some images before we get into some funny stuff that's enough of that for now of cappadocia <laughs> now um I don't know if you're watching autodidactic, but Campbell at the moment, he's um he's down, he's got, I think he was in he's going down to Bosnia way on the old world tours. <laughs> but they're doing another tour. They're doing another tour in August in Turkey and Greece, going to places like Cappadocia, um, Derekuyu, um, Gebekli Tepe, and some of the greatest um Acropolis uh Crete, Knossos, um santorini yeah uh, all of these places on a tour or world tour so i've said i'll go as a tour guide with uh ancient historia and campbell um and see how it goes because that would be awesome but i really would like to see cappadocia these were taken in um 1935 they're not really old photographs uh cappadocia in turkey fairy tale castle some of them look like big dicks some of them look like mushrooms um these look like big mushrooms but there are people living in them caves and you gotta wonder what geological thing happens here until you get to the picture of the church 
So, was this originally a building that got covered in mud and solidified? I wonder. People living in them, Cappadocia. Cave hotels and cave buildings, they got there now in the modern day. So, it's apartment blocks there. They got one, two, three, four story building. It's all, I can imagine that it's all, excuse me, um, hollowed out in there. Um, but yeah, it doesn't look like a building. It looks like a melted nothing. Something like something's happened to it. And this one's got a lot of backfill. So um, what's crazy as it is, this is filled of sand or dirt or mud or what have you. The whole thing is blackened, but that's black and white photography. That could be just Tony. But the inside of this giant structure buildings you see it this was one big building that got melted look at it there's the doorway there the one side this side like is missing isn't it obviously so you there's a pyramid there's a pyramid so you go in there and obviously it's all hollowed out and under here all that dirt and all that you can see the inside of this really ancient world it's mind-blowing the Cappadocia is a mind blow. Whatever happened to this place? It looks like fallout. Look at this thing here. What could that be? It's like a giant skull of a giant creature. And the buildings look like nowhere else on earth. They're just crazy. Who the, who the hell lives in that? Got a high door. But again, it just really does look like a fused building. Maybe they were ornamental and dwarf-like, you know, or, or unusual shaped. But, you know. Okay, uh, ancient geology, everything else got washed away, left these strange uh, formations, and they were hollowed out, and then everyone moved in them. Is it? I want to see if that's the case for this church in a minute. Look at this one. Just like a big mushroom. That looks like a head, actually, and a neck, doesn't it? So look at that. Another thing that bugs me is I was reading um, earthquakes of the eastern Mediterranean were very frequent in the past, more so than now in the modern day. And they're saying that they were these giant events. There was a, a giant uh, earthquake in Istanbul in the 1500s subsequent tsunami um, and giant events all over the eastern mediterranean in this period and it occurred to me like yeah well okay um the fall of troy may have happened with the santorini and stuff so the fall of the classical world but the rest of the buildings like the Hagia Sophia or the blue mosque in istanbul have been there over a thousand years and they are tipper irene there's nothing going on with them they are mint so how come they've missed all the earthquakes in fact and thinking about a lot of the antiquity for Asia, um, uh, you know, Asia Minor, uh, Turkey, the Middle East. Um, how come all of that escaped all of the apparent amazing seismic activity of the past? How come? Maybe this never. This may be just like Noah's flood, man. Look at it. All of them in the background. Or hollowed out and people living in them. Which makes perfect sense, but were they dwellings that just got covered in, you know, just the fascias mudded over and melted with some extreme heat? This is a mind blow. What the fuck, guys? When I seen it, I was like, what? Is that still there? Uh, guys, if we get to go to Cappadocia, God, I hope the war don't happen where we get to go, because we'll be able to investigate this, yeah? And apparently Paul Cook's going as well. Shit you not, Paul Cook, myself, Campbell, yeah. Find out what the fuck this is, yeah. We get boots on the ground, us, us doing this. We can we can find out what's going on. This is what we need to be doing. We're not, you know, we got to see these things. Pictures is just like, okay. But when we can get up there and just look at this stuff and then show the world, show you guys, basically. Um, what is it? So it looks like uh, something out of Stargate. It's a tunnel, uh, but it's not a railway tunnel. Um, it's a doorway. It's a portal. It's going into something that is like a big ton of rock. Yeah. 
and it's been blocked off so no one can go in there amazing that is what about that <laughs> the church itself looks like a replica of the church of the resurrection in rome <laughs> same dome okay the dome is on there and the church bits are still inside like the vaulting and the arches maybe even where statues went um but the rest is like a fudged mess of meltage but you can see right angles etc here here and here and uh, stuff inside what do you think they actually add <laughs> Ah, do you mean they actually added the building bits? Look at that. It's still, you can still see the bits of this church thing. And it's bubbled with the heat and it's popped out. And that is just mind blowing. That is wow. God damn. It's got melted. And this is from above. I wonder what took that photograph. And there's that church bit on the top there. That's a different one. Oh, my God. There, look at this. The dirt dome on top. So they put a giant dome or like with um, decoration on top of a lump of shit, did they? In the ancient world. Does that actually make any sense whatsoever? No, you can see right angles here. There's a structure under this. I bet, you know, if you were to tap it all off, it would fall off and you'd see it. Look at that. So you got the church top there. It's full of rocks. They blocked that off. Very ornate and detailed. And it's on top of this bubbled stuff. Yeah, it's amazing. Cappadocia, Cappadocia, Cappadocia. In Turkey. Okay. I'm coming back for a minute. And we're going to have a bit of fun next, guys. I'm afraid we're going to... We're gonna have some good times okay 611 of you watching welcome to feb thank you for being here on a flat a day night thank you for indulging me um i'm just taking you on a roller coaster ride of juice e images and beauty and just my you living in martin will brian for tonight okay it's gonna be really good don't worry it's gonna be lovely fluffy affair i feel like a big fluffy thing rubbing in your face, there, eh? Liddy, feeling good, less tense lately. Um, is you're feeling good, less tense? That's good, Liddy. That's really fucking good, actually. And Vinny's Dom's in it. What's happening, Vinny in Vegas? Ooh, Vegas, Vegas, Danny, 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 Danny. Brilliant pictures tonight, Nathan. We are not quite there. Love you, brother. And Z Y X, the melted world. Some might say, some might say that melting's not a thing and that problems, you know, like literally have a little epileptic fit about it and chuck their rat out of the cage. Um, but um, they are very, very persuasive that meltage has gone on. Alva Billy, Scott. Okay, so oh, let me just put a banner up. So mattleagogmail.com. Um, I'm going to show you later on uh, in a bit. Um, some of the groovy things that we're going to be doing. And ooh, LT, um, LTO Common Sense and Just JP. Mia, Mary, Mary. Why are these buildings? Uh, it's just the nuttiest thing. I've seen some of it in Nottingham. They got like cliffs and stuff that uh, people have lived in. But they look like buildings melted to me. Uh, Pearly, Paul, Christopher, thank you so much. That's awesome. Uh, memory man and our lovely hippie and uh, it's beautiful first day of spring today i literally really loved the little bit of warmth after months and months and months and months of fucking okay now we're going to look at some beautiful thing okay now remember right what it was like when you were young and you got your 50 okay and you've got a date and you she's lovely mm -hmm. And you're going to take her out to the disco. Okay. But first, you need to practice your moves. Okay. And this is what goes down. Okay. So we're going to have a look at this cute 
video. But first, I need some music to play with it, really. Okay. And also share audio tab. Okay. Excuse me. Okay. So that I got some. Okay. Okay, let's just get rid of that. And let's get rid of that. And let's have a bit of music. refresh it okay let's get some music going babies okay babe some music going on okay now watch these kids now yeah loving life and, and doing funky stuff i love this it. It reminds me of me the boy reminds me I think he loves her. Oh, it's good, isn't it, guys? Do you like that? Oh, just to do things like that, didn't we? When we were young. Some things in life are really cool, aren't they? Things like that when, you, when you're young. Mind you, nah, you can have fun about that. I got thinking the other day. It was like I asked myself questions in reality, and I thought, fuck me, where does Israel get all this money from? It's got so much shit, and it's got this fucking golden dome and every fucking thing else. Can't be just from banking. Where do they get their money? Check it out, guys. Um, you probably know this. I didn't, okay? I was where, where's, where does Israel get its GDP from? Most recent exports are diamonds. 10 billion of diamonds. What, like uh, blood diamonds or diamonds from Africa? Or have they got all time diamond mines in the deserts of Israel? Okay. Integrated circuits. So stop. Their main is diamonds, which makes a sense with the Amsterdam quarter um, and the um, Antwerp quarter of diamonds in Europe. Makes sense. Um, and integrated circuits. So they're knocking out circuit boards for crystals. They're you doing diamonds um, and refined petroleum. I wonder why they don't do synthetic petroleum nowadays, like the Nazis pulled off in World War II. All of a sudden, you need to get it on the ground. But they were literally producing it differently, uh, synthetically. Uh, medical instruments. Hang on. Fucking stop. Potassium fertilizers. So they're like bombs. So what is their biggest uh, export for earning all that oogles and money that they've got is diamonds, integrated circuits, refined petroleum, and medical instruments. 2.5 billion in medical fucking instruments. Uh, whatever. Anyway, let's have a look at some good uh, images of architectural hub. Um, which is a site I found on um, Facebook, but they show really, really awesome images. <clears throat> excuse me. Oh, let me just come back because I got that fucking thing on the bottom of the. Excuse me. And um, that's a Falcon bo um, bomber. And um, I've seen that in real life. Um, let me just come back for a second because what I do find annoying is that thing on the bottom of the screen going fucking past. Uh, excuse me. Better. Okay. 600 of you watching, make sure to please share this out, guys, because that's just going to help no end with uh, my my alien channels. Okay, here we go. That are all on 
active strikes. So I tippy toe, tippy toe. Don't say anything about any races. Don't say anything about anything, anything. Okay. Should be fine. So this is massive. This is, it was supposed to be a nuclear bomber. Um, I seen it in um, this hangar. There's two of them, one in the hangar, one outside. This is the one I see um, in Bridland for uh, just outside Leicester in England where they keep it. Oh my shit, guys. You should have seen how big it was. Honest to God. It was the biggest, you know, like, you know, one wing plane to ever get up there. Um, I would love to see it fly. I would love to see it, you know, at least get up in the air. A really amazing aircraft. But by the British for dropping nuclear bombs that never got dropped. So I noticed with the, um, on top of the Parthenon, the, uh, the Oculus that is quite big. And they say this is a 2,000 year old dome made of Roman concrete, right, guys? And it's supposed to be like wafer thin at the top. But they got a handrail. People walk up here. And it's got copper surround. Do you find it difficult to believe that that is 2,000 euro, they say? What about earthquakes? I thought Italy was really earthquake prone, according to the book I was reading. They had the Messini event. Apparently, you fucking like wiped out a fucking third of Italy or something for like 10 years, if you look into it. So I don't even know what's going on with the architecture. Is there a lie? All of these earthquakes? I don't know. Imagine climbing up them steps and the parapet and the size of the walls in these old days, guys. It's crazy. So this guy's in Devon, and I've done the same thing here, guys. Literally, right? This guy found an ancient well in his house in Devon. He's got the mud out, and he's got an ancient well. Awesome. Yeah? I'd have a glass plate over that so you could just see it. <laughs> same years ago with my mate Steve, man, he like literally pulled up the floorboards in his house because there was a stream running under his under his floorboards in the front room. And it was really good because we had all of the like, you know, the scalar waves coming up and standing waves. And it was always you're always tripping in there. That house was amazing. And um we literally uh there was um two large half circle bits of stone. And we got a large wrecking bar and pulled them apart, pushed them apart, and then that was underneath a really ancient well. And we literally found it on an old carded map as well. The well was on there. Um, we put the floor back down and covered it back over. But there was literally a running river, um, just amazing, under this house. Ancient. They just built the houses, the council houses, straight on top of them. <laughs> it's crazy. Imagine what's under your house. Could be anything under your house. <laughs> yeah, so um, this is in Mongolia, apparently, um, in the Gobi Desert, and um, some ancient compound for some ancient Tatarian land-dwelling peoples. I reckon there's got to be stuff happening underground, looking at their... Uh, there could be people living under there, like Jason says, stuck in hundreds of years and knowing nothing about us up here with an artificial sky. In fact, we could be under an ocean. We could be exactly the same thing. We don't even know. <laughs> so some designs for they're going to be doing um, new silk roads north to south, and they're going to do a land bridge. Eventually, I think they'll cover the Bering Straits and connect Russia with America if they ever get on, which I don't know, probably in the same club, though, aren't they? Because they all got Phoenician shit going on. So they're going to do this um, in Norway, um, and they're going to have a tunnel which is um, on floats, a floating tunnel. These floats, okay, and it'll just be suspended under floats, and it'll be a floating tunnel. They're actually building that now in Norway. And this is a tower in the Czech Republic. Look at this, guys. You could just walk down and down. Imagine the designing in that ancient world. And towers are just crazy. I've been up. Well, I was going to go up there. I got a bit knackered. Didn't bother. So, um, water vortex in, in drains. Um, structuring water before it gets down the plug hole is absolutely brilliant. They should do this with all of our water things and structure our water. That's what they do. So this is um, of a, 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 as you can see, a mosaic of Rome. And the words say, okay, um, enjoy life. Enjoy life because that is coming. So you may as well just not sit there. You may as well just go and break pattern and fucking do something. Because oh, look, there's a skeleton. You can turn it into a skeleton. Otherwise. So this is in Paris. Strange geometry to that isn't it all the geometric patterns 
it looks like a big rubik's cube but they know what it means there's cubes all over antiquity guys the kaaba in uh in mecca uh, they know the shape of the earth and they know it's the cube they tell us with a cross so here is an unearthquaked um mosque in the biggest city in europe um istanbul i've been there a couple few times myself actually in the past both sides um and we're going to be going there again apparently in fall campbell um and looking at some of these and filming them and the round um, istanbul the old town wall is still there and it's just cisterns cisterns underneath so this is crazy this is the capital city of mexico mexico city one of the highest capital cities on earth it's at seven thousand feet mexico city and it is huge uh sweaty mess and look at the way it is just like over these hills as far as the eye can see just and all up in the mountains mexico city absolutely brutal people live in there so this is a beautiful leaf isn't it no it's not this is the longest street in poland and it's in the country and basically they've just put all of their houses next to one road with all of this irrigated country farmland strips for each one of these houses got their own plot probably um and it looks just like a leaf but yeah it's the longest road in poland obviously i don't know the name of it so i reckon if you could echolocate and you were a blind person or you could even touch this building you know which building it was from its sound probably and went echolocation but all of this stuff that they put on there is there really any need for it um i don't think so not really it all looks like a dripping psycho mess doesn't it, it look like every time i see phoenician architecture i feel like oh shit, something bad's gonna happen you know i seen phoenicians when i was young um i didn't know what they were though on magic mushrooms I didn't know what they were <clears throat> no i know so that's cappadocia in the modern day guys in turkey so um old world tours are going to go there as i said they're in bosnia at the moment Campbell uh it just visited uh, venice and he's got he's in i think slovenia which you've got to go through to get down to uh the balkans anyway <coughs> from italy <coughs> so the world's longest sea tunnels being built at the moment to connect believe it or not sicily with finland so you'd be able to drive um ferry across and then you know the straits obviously um but the whole length of italy across the alps across germany and then you'd be able to drive under the sea and straight into uh, excuse me denmark okay they're connecting um no i think it is finland um so um it's going to be a new silk road they're saying and it's like trillions of uh dollars worth of uh merchandise will be put across it so they built loads of these in china these look like tatarian houses in turkey they put them up in angola they put them up why is it the chinese keep building shit and they never live in it or is it for a future plan so it's not all bad news they're putting some of it back this is in marshall in texas the city of marshall in texas before you got a nice old built in there and now they've started to deer up and it looks lovely so it's not all bad news they're putting some stuff together back together in texas to his original Guranja. so another place we'll be uh going to is um the labyrinth of Kos knossos or knossos and um where the manator is in the center um, but i think this is um like um a map of the mind the mind looks like a maze if i show you a bit later on images <laughs> and i think the center of the labyrinth is a spiritual journey the inner journey i think that's what the whole narrative for it is with with the uh with the labyrinth but there is labyrinths they're all over antiquity there's one in the film shiny this is in iraq 
and it is a cemetery called the city of the dead where they build little domed minaret buildings for all the dead people i'm guessing you just can't bury them out in the desert like uh, americans do with their dead people can you no loads of people go missing in uh, the desert outside las vegas or yeah <laughs> That's what you get for cheating on cats. This chick's got it going on. <coughs> She's like, yeah, fuck you all. I'm having a tent on the side of the road. Why should I sleep on the fucking streets? So she buys like a canopy that looks like a car. And she's reading a newspaper with a big, massive dollop of fuck you all. Nobody should have to live like that in this day and age. No one, especially young women. No one it just breaks your ass. So this is Nouveau. This is Nouveau architecture, new architecture with a feel of Phoenicia that they're putting on some buildings. Looks like AI generated. It's actually a real thing. But again, with our Phoenician nose, the straight nose going on. It's exactly the same. That's an interesting, nice little, uh... come on, mate, get up. Yeah, you've got things to do. Your journey's not over. You've got lots to do. Get off your ass. So, this building looked like that. And this is in Russia. And now they've done it all up. This is, um, this was, this is an unbelievable mud flood evidence that one built in there was an uh, old university building. But yeah, so it's not all bad news. Some of it looks like shit. And now they're doing it up. So, you know, silver liner miner. And um, just antiquity of the smashed world that uh, basically got thrown about in some terrible cataclysmic event that shattered the classical world. And all the bits of the classical world are under this pool here, look. And you can just walk on them. That is in Greece. Pretty cool, eh? Okay. Let's move on. So that was architectural hub. And I think what we'll do now is because we were on about the labyrinth we'll have a look so there's david bowie and he's playing with his balls his really big balls he's famous for his big balls so it's david bowie isn't he so there he is he plays basically um the goblin king in the film um labyrinth which is an awesome film by the way but he tries to cop on to a 14 year old which is not really you know not really good pedophilia isn't it anyway so um, this is Alice in Wonderland, and she's lost in a maze as well. It's a lot of labyrinths. He's like, "Oh, you're lovely. How old are you?" She's like, "I'm, I'm 14, and I'm, I want to play with my baby." He's like, "But then he's dance, baby, dance." He's the Goblin King. He stole a baby. So they tell you all in that film, the labyrinth, don't they? He even fucks with time. He makes the clock go back. Look, yeah, yeah. It's like, don't go that way. Never go that way. And you heard his, um, he's like in the stench of eternal, the bog of eternal stench. And it's like, oh, fuck, it stinks. He's like, what smell? The air is as fresh and fragrant as a summer meadow. And the Minoan Palace in Knossos in Crete had actual flush toilets with wooden seats um, and a complex draining system and technology that wouldn't be seen again for a thousand years. So apparently, um, in Knossos, in Greece, the Minoan civilization, they got fucking wiped off the face of the earth. Also, um, they had decent shit in the morning. Even the Romans didn't have that, did they? The Romans had to go off. So um, Santorini looks absolutely beautiful. I did a little hangout with Campbell. You know, they were looking at it on the map. The crater is this. The bay is the crater of apparently the um, volcano that happened. Um, but it, it looks like that in Santorini, believe it or not, all blue roofs. So all world tours is taking, taking us there, apparently. Not bad, is it, guys? But that had a terrible event, and I would really like to investigate, you know, this event. So this here is a crater. Apparently... Yeah, all the other side of the island disappeared into the sea. And it was, you know, this civilization, Santorini, which is beautiful. So look at that. Can you imagine doing that? That's 10 types of you lucky bastard, isn't it, guys? Fuck yeah, look at that. Ah, I don't know. 
how do you ever have to live you got some people got to make a little tent on the side of the road so let's have a look at some um amusing stuff shall we guys just for a minute give us a little bit of a giggle okay see i'm not buying it i think they're fucking stupid so back when i was a kid right you know they used to have exchange students but well, they used to do it with pandas so we uh chi 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 and poo poo gonna make baby um in london zoo because we borrowed chinese um pandas but apparently they're not very good at um you know reproducing in captivity so like none get born hardly um i i find them really suspect i've never actually seen one i'm not sure if they're cr cute or they look really fucking scary let's look at him He's like it looks like a human to me so get off my ball see he's a little bastard it's me 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 and they're stupid how did they even survive all they do look he's like oh that feels nice oh fuck and he, and he falls so they're a little bit stupid as well they like to keep fit they're not that stupid but that's a human thing what humans do guys and look he's like oh, i'm gonna play on a little kid's toy but i can't do it because i'm stupid and i'm a bear apparently the eucalyptus some stone thing all day so is that cute or scary if that come up to me i i wouldn't be sure i would be like oh fucking hell man that looks like it's gonna eat my face what do you think guys is it cute i'm getting a mixture of yeah it's cute and oh fuck that's scary all at the same time it's a mixed bag a bit like women <laughs> Oh, so they have baby ones, but, you know, she's never going to smell it or anything. She's just going to give it a little blue rub. All the blue will come off. So he's like, oh, come on, love, let's make a baby. She's like, oh, no, we can't. There's people watching. So maybe that's why they can't replicate or reproduce in captivity, because there's people watching. Look, they're always, she's always trying her on. He's like, come on, fucking let me in. She said, no, there's people watching. What do you think I am? What kind of, what kind of panda do you think I am? You're my pandaverse. And they got really long nails as well. Like, really long. They don't cut them. And he likes a nice lolly and a bit of ice cream. Look at his nails. See, that looks like a bloke to me. That looks like a bloke with a suit on. A really good suit, admittedly. But they do too, you know, too many human things. See what I mean? He's stupid. They just want to roll around and do stupid shit. Really stupid. Look, want to play with my stick? Oh, I got bamboo. That one's actually cute. The other one's that's as active as it actually gets. So it's open for a discussion. Maybe have a hangout in the future, discuss the future of Pandaverse, whether or not we actually think pandas are real. And they look real in some context. In others, oh, I'm not actually sure. And like, are they having a song? Why can't they replicate? There should be millions of them. They should be having babies like all other animals. But no, they can't have babies. Cause, don't know. Anyway, another thing we're going to be witnessing, apparently, is the twirling dervishes. I'm going to have a go if they let me. I'm going to get into a, into a, a, into a trance state. Um, and then I'm going to feel all like groovy and probably have a religious happening see a great sage of a thousand years ago tells me a great secret and then i share it on my Liga channel makes sense hi campbell auto didactic where are you You're in croatia croatia fuck me you do you jet setter you you're like you've to see more countries than alan wicker i've been seeing canvas really good so we're gonna get in training ladies so armageddon's on the way as you know world war three um you want to start getting you want to start getting in training, smashing house bricks. Um, probably not with your bosom, but this lady seems to be all right. Can you imagine that smacked on your head, though, guys? It's cracking like a fucking... I was going to say a coconut, but coconuts are really hard to break, aren't they? So good on her. So, ooh. So in the old days, we had women with real breasts, guys. Yeah, no silicone. Because the silicone goes to their brain and makes them more mental. You know that, do you? Oh, Yeah. So we had um, a rigidity test. He's saying that one's in that one in the red is an eight, and that one is uh, that's much more squishy. So that one's going like a seven, seven and an eight. 
Eeny, meeny, seven or eight. I'll have somebody complaining. Oh, I wonder what this does if I'm... Yeah, don't worry. Let's see that again. I wonder what happens if I pick it. So uh, science isn't precise science. I wonder how many scientists actually blew themselves up or got really stones on some of the concoctions that they made. I don't know. Dung beetles are good. If you watch these, and I didn't know much about them. They push lumps of shit everywhere. And then they go, you're all dead. They're evil. So bear this in mind, guys. Okay. And they, and they look like Donnie Darko. Dung beetles actually want to end the world. And this is evidence. If anyone, you know, if it comes up in a conversation, and there's Ellie gone. Yeah. So this is not funny, actually, but this is out of an actual antiquity book that I found. I was going to share, but I just saved the pictures because the other pictures are just too horrendous. <laughs> Apparently, they're doing this um, in the past, which is chowing down to a bit of strange meat. And he's, they have dance-offs as well. He's like, yeah, what gives? But yeah, what's going on? It's Mad Max. So this is a Bake Off, the great British Bake Off. Um, unfortunately... She never really thought it out. She could put the shelf up one, though, but obviously she can. She's got things to put the shelf up one, guys. She can't work it out. Have you ever watched The Great British Bake Off? God, it's shit. Oh, I'm going to keep fit. I'm going to get really, really fit. Summer's coming. I'll get all this fat off my ass. And men will like me. Oh, I'm feeling really good. This works really well, this one, does it? Oh, mm. oh. Why she got a, a toilet roll stuck out the side of her trousers? I don't get. I don't. I don't. Do you know what? the people go on these machines, right? Looking out of the window at the world running instead of running in the world. They do it like some people are not really into gyms. Obviously, he doesn't actually know that he has to pull it up. Okay, don't worry. Whatever things go on in gyms. I went to a gym once. Yeah, only once. And there were men standing in front of the mirror, like looking at themselves and flinching muscles and all that. I'm like, yeah, this is way too gay for you, man, to fucking get out of here. Yeah, look, these running machines, that's what they all do. Fucking stupid. Thing is, guys, it's like I was in a pub in um, Birmingham, right, the sailor. And you look out the window and then in the gym across the road looking at you drinking beer and vice versa. I thought, that's really weird. You come out of the gym, look at him. Chinese man, he's not going to do too, too much. He's going to just sit in his chair and he's going to keep fit like that. Okay. This Indian lady, she's got it down. I bet she feels really fit. It's good for the hips, though. But I doubt she's actually going to get any cardio, cardiovascular exercise. But it's good for them, uh, good for them muffin tops, which they need because. Okay, this is uh, brilliant. I was thinking of suicide YouTubing, um, just like posting until they kill me. Um, but no, I don't think that's a good idea. Like this. Truth! And then you break your door. I like that kid. He's got a bottle. So, have you ever done this in a party? Yeah, that's why it's not good to... And she's showing her knickers as well on Strongbow. Yeah, yeah, put the pole down. I can do it. I can actually do that. I'm really good at it. The limbo. Limbo, limbo, smack your face up. This lady's so pissed. Let's see if she can make it to the hotel room. No, she smacked her face and she hit the floor. Let's watch her once more. It's a card, love. Put it in the slot. No, smack the wall. Hit the floor. This is why drinking is no good. Come on, love. I'm on a table. Do me. Ugh. No, that didn't work either. Come on, love. I really want it. Ugh. No, no, she wanted it on a table, but she was too pissed that she fucking rolled off. Okay. So she didn't die. She's just showing off for YouTube. Yeah. I've uh, actually gone down, um, slid down uh, rails as well. <laughs> How to hog a wedding party. Yeah. She's going to do a pole dance in the marquee. The bride doesn't actually look all of that good. Oh, shit. She pulled it down. The whole marquee in the wedding. So the bride should give it a good kick in. This guy's a miracle. I don't know how he does it. He just stays up so long. No, he doesn't. Come on, get up. Okay, you can do it. It's only a four-pack, bro. Six-pack. Fuck me. Now, this guy's a legend. He nearly does it. Hold on, hold on. I'm fucked. I'm spinning. I'm fucked. No, he's going to do it. He's all right. He's all right. He's all right, guys. You can do it. He's on a bar stool. 
He's out. No, he's not. He's out. Let's watch out again because he's quite an expert at this. Oh, God. It's been many years since I've been that wasted when I've actually fallen off a stool. What a way to live your life. Terrible. So unsafe. Look at this. Anyone could kick his head in and rob him. Or, or even with his bum sticking in the air. Something else. He's that drunk. Anybody watching? Drinking is not a good idea. Not excessively, anyway. Anyway, let's look at some antiquity for five minutes. We'll get back to some other stuff in a minute. Uh, also, I had a Star Force. And Warsaw also got them blitzed off of the face of the earth in World War II. Yes, like all of it, gone. Uh, not just the Warsaw ghetto, like most of the inner city of Warsaw. But they got a funny name, haven't they? they got war in the name. So strange irony, really, isn't it? Warsaw got war. So thanks, Egon. Cheers to you too. Thanks, Free, free Soul Hippie. That's why I quit drinking. Yeah, well, most oh, you know, a little drink's all right. I like a little Bloody Mary when I'm out and about or a Guinness, but I can only have one or two. And I'm not like a drinker drinker because I don't want to feel like it makes me feel unsafe when I'm drunk. I just can't be drunk. I want to know what's going on around me. I don't want to be fucking vulnerable in this place with all the fucking nutters. I gotta be on my game. <coughs> Look at that. So yeah, all of this got fucking smashed, guys, in World War Two. Warsaw got the most beautiful stuff. Don't know why they like say that Poland was, you know. I'm sure uh, Warsaw had his bourgeoisie, but it didn't, didn't it? Of course, it had his elites. But they say the Polish people were backwards you know, prior to World War Two, but. I don't think so. The photographs do not show this, but we're looking at the upper crest here, aren't we? <clears throat> not the uh, the average Polish farmer of 1933, for example, which had a terrible time in the war. They got artworks on this thing here. I love Poland. I love Poland. I, I haven't been there when it was free. I went there back in the uh, socialist days to Stettin and Gdansk um, in the days of solidarity. There are solidarity posters up everywhere. One of the worst places I can ever remember going to was Albania. Oh, fucking, it was agonizing. I didn't know they had one of the worst dictatorships outside of North Korea, Hozo's dictatorship, uh, when I was there, but they wouldn't allow us go ashore because we had to stay in the confines of the docks in uh, Durus, in Durus, Durusiai, where it's called in Albania. <coughs> and, um, oh, they, it was shit. They are terrible beer. And um, on their television, they were playing Heart to Heart. Remember Stephanie Powers, Robert Wagner, Heart to Heart? Not that Heart to Heart is not good. It's just, you know, this was in the, you know, Star Trek generation, next generation era. We moved on from heart to heart in the Western world, if you know what I mean. So, but Albania, um, they were happy enough, they were pleasant enough, but the most controlled people I've ever seen in my life, they knew nothing of the world, nothing outside worlds. And to be in the Mediterranean and not know anything of the outside world blows my mind. They were isolationist. They weren't like the North Koreans or the Chinese. They weren't allowed to know what was going on in the in the wider world. Some countries do that, guys. These isolationist mentality of only if you've got to trade with them, don't actually, you know, that's amazing, isn't it? Fraternize with the enemy. And another power plant. We've only got horse troll carriages, uh, trams. But the buildings do not share the same. They got this amazing technology. Corinthian top edge. I was wondering what that box was. Could be just a little plant or a bin. So yeah, beautiful city. I'm sure they rebuilt it back to some of its former glory after World War II. No doubt. They got a lot of antique tech going on. Look at this thing. That's a massive. So um, another thing I was thinking about when I was reading about um, earthquakes of the eastern Mediterranean, just really interested in 
the you know existence of all this architecture everywhere um free of any earthquake problems and i was thinking you know because this is an active earthquake zone sort of apparently britain is as well apparently parts of germany poland um and latvia lithuania belarus all these countries apparently have earthquakes so this would be earthquake proof i think i think a lot of these columns as well it could have been a lot of um or some thought put into um what's going on there a lot of thought put into earthquake proof in the buildings like they do in the modern day maybe somebody's going to stand in the middle have a dance off difficult to say what's going on there there's no marketeering going on they're just standing in a square <laughs> Oh, they have got bad clothes, the Polish, have they? They look quite well turned out like the rest of Europe at that period. But like I said, it is Warsaw in the city. <clears throat> and they got the elites everywhere, haven't they? The bourgeoisie. Look at that beautiful thing. So I doubt they, you know, they even know that, you know, they're insipid and that. I mean, it's just they're not their fault. They're, they're born into all money and stuff. But what would be really good is a good billionaire to think fuck all of this i'm going to do the right thing before i die i'm going to help the truthers i'm going to help the truthers get their truth out to the population of the world so no they no longer have to be in fear fear of the unknown fear of themselves because that's what most people are frightened of oh what'll happen if this happens what'll happen if that happens what and none of it actually happens does it Oh, look at that beauty. You open your window and the birds are still tweeting. Although we've had like military aircraft and drones going over here today. It's actually military activities picking up. I'm near an airbase, uh, St. Athens airbase. So it is getting uh, military activity. Um, they're warming up. Let's go and uh, throw things at one another. Well, as long as there's a war, if there's a war, you know there's not going to be a lockdown. <laughs> so that's a good, that's a good thing about it. <laughs> anyway, wow. Yeah, Poland was groovy, man. I met war heroes there. I went to a for a meal where I, everyone was laughing at me because I picked up an eel and ate it, and it was all leathery. And they say, "No, you're supposed to scoop it up, Matt." I was like, "All oh, right," um, but a well, guy who was a old man mihash sadoic friend of the family and he was 98 years of, of age and he fought uh, the germans in uh, poland when they took it over but what i never get right guys is um, britain declares war on germany for the invasion of poland but uh, you know they didn't declare war on russia for invading um eastern poland that makes no fucking sense why why didn't why doesn't anyone ever address that? It gets on my nerves. And non-aggression packs, they're not worth the fucking paper they're written on, as we know. Anyway, that is really nice, War. Well, so I've shown it obliterated in the past. Anyway, let's look at some giants, shall we? Giants of Tartary. And these are giants of Tartary, actually. Let just share them. I'll share some more images in a minute. It's 10 o'clock. We're going on two hours. Did you actually share this out? I've got a clue. 576 of you watching. That's a groovy thing. If you could uh, share this out, that would be groovy. Like this video if you did. Nah, Gallica's just a motherfucker. It's never going to share. Don't worry, guys. Let me come back for a minute. I'm going to share some images and stuff right now. Okay. Five hundred seventy-one. So, see what you're all doing. I have another chat with you all. Ah, we got a festival coming up. We got all, all, loads of the guys are going to be there. David Weiss is going to be there. Going to get me David Weiss. Um, I'm going to present uh, to Taria there. It's down in uh, Bournemouth, the same time as Glastonbury's going on. But no fucker wants to go to Glastonbury anymore. It's all that woke stuff. He's fucking horrible there. Uh, and all them. So never, it's no, no, no free hippie fucking stuff going on there. I can tell you that. Um, so there's a festival in Bournemouth, like um, Dave Murphy, uh, 
allegedly Dave. Um, Mark Devlin. There's loads of others like I don't really know because I don't watch any YouTube really. But Dolores Cahill, I've heard of her. Um, and another ones anyway. So it's so going to flat smack them. Bam! It's going to be good. So actually, Owen. Oh, hello, Owen. Going to flat smack them. Um, the inventor of our Winnie and Gravity. Haven't you had enough of listening to him by now, are we? It's all these years of just the same old bollocks. Oh, it's agony. How do you do it? How do you do it? Um, Holistic Media, good to see you, sweetness. How's it going, lovely? Uh, similar when I was in Cairo, um, Rogue Missile. Is that, is that, is that? Tr- oh. I've been in war zones. Belfast. Back in the day, that was pretty heavy, let me tell you. Salutations, Mr. Limios. And thrice bone, good to see you double flat, wiggly flat funds, thrice bone. Okay, let's get into this. Plum up. Uh, yes, Dallas Fowler agreed, Felina and Daryl and Isabella, Guanme, Dan, and so pretty so hippie. It's a nice name. So, yeah, we're, we're doing stuff like that. Uh, I actually prefer to do, um, do like outdoor meetups, for like festival type thing, rather than an indoor thing. Because uh, you can go on the campfire and look at the sky. Glastonbury '99. No, I stopped going by uh, by their mate uh, Dan. I had an absolute shit fall by about uh, ninety four five. I gave it all up because it was all them, and they put the big wall up, and it was just too much stress nicking in. Deb Woods, <laughs> you're not going to buy a ticket for Glastonbury, do you? Fuck off. My God, I've even got enough money. Fucking hell. You should be letting me in anyway, yeah? Because I'm like, I'm his, I'm his spiritual. Um, I was going to say spiritual leader, but in a way I am. Vibes, Econ, um, lovely cup, Martin. You're drinking from, yeah, Anamita Mascara. Jesus himself. Gonna save you all from uh, stress. It's a weird time, isn't it? But we're gonna strive on and pretend nothing's happening. Like, best to lie to yourself. <laughs> it's all good. It's all okay. It's all awesome out there. The world is great. I'm sure they'll sort it out. It's just the these controllers, the who, and all these different things that just just shit out all these rules all of a sudden. It's like. Where the fuck did they come from? How come we're all just bitches for them all of a sudden? When did that come into fruition? When did that even happen? I don't even sign up for that. I don't even want that. It's like, fuck off. I'm 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 my own god, my own president. I do my own thing, my own universe. And when my universe ends, the universe will be over for me. <laughs> yeah, that don't even make any sense, man. Yeah, I do. Alva Billy. Okay, and uh, Jamie is in the house. Uh, Dan Payne, uh, what's that? Um, I remember sitting on a hill looking across the farm, lots of masses and masses of people all off their edge. Yeah, man, up the top of the field looking down the pyramid stage. They don't do it anymore, mate. It's not even allowed. Ooh, Eppy. Eppy's in the house. Oh, a nice cup of tea. I got a cup of tea. I am drinking a cup of tea. Yeah, I'm not drinking coffee. Libra. Nah, I know I'm a mortal. I'm a mortal being. I never said I wasn't. I just said when this universe dies, this one. That's all. <sighs> Freeze. And there's Bear, my mate Bear. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Dan. Thanks. Don't have to agree with me. Machiavelli, unless you do. Great, then. Yeah, my personal universe. There, that's right. Not all your universe, obviously. You're not all living in my universe because there's a name for that. That's a, some sort of syndrome, isn't it? Anyway, somebody might be dreaming it all up. I don't know, guys. It's difficult to say. Anyway, we're going to look at some more stuff. Five, five, five. We got loads of more amusing stuff to go. We're going to look at some epic fails. We're just going to not take life too seriously because there's no point to it. Because it's like shit on a stick, isn't it? <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so. Oh, 
anyway stop sharing <clears throat> excuse me my page is like the gallica is just terrible for sharing it's even disappeared they won't even let you uh share it anymore it's a really weird thing so do we like our little dancing couple ah oh, he did a little man madness dance didn't he we like that madness madness they call it madness and if this is madness well, you know I'm filled with gladness. It's gonna be rougher. It's gonna be tougher. But I'm not gonna be the one who's gonna suffer. Oh no. We love madness, don't we? One of the greatest greatest bands ever. Love seeing madness. There's such a good atmosphere to their music when you see them. So let's have a look at some cute critters and go, ah, before we look at some spazzies. Now I've been going on about donkeys for a while this guy got loads of animals to clutch it's really annoying he's got so much animal stuff can you imagine having one of them and they love you and you could ride them as well if you're a goat goat donkey i'll see that again goat donkey riding and they don't mind this humans they they're freaked off about because they these have got really bad press because of the fucking devil Goats are awesome. Do you know goats, guys? They carry cats around. Do you know goats? If you don't give them pets and attention, they cry. There's a little baby uh, lion having a little... Oh, that's a scared bear. I don't want to see a scared baby bear. Oh, this is nice. What is it? It's a thing. If anybody knows what that is... Um, this I know it's a bird. I just don't know what bird. It looks a bit hysterical. It looks crazy. Is there a roadrunner? Is there a roadrunner? Roadrunners are small. It looks like a roadrunner to me. Um, there's um, a goat riding a tortoise. And now he's riding another one. Because they're really fun. That's what I mean. Like, oh, that's how to get around with your dog. Let's just mag up on that. Check that out, guys. That guy got it going on. Ah, I love it when puppies catch little kittens. Imagine how soft that puppy is. And the cat don't mind, guys. Of course the cat don't mind. Uh, all right. I right. I He loves one another. Who said cats and dogs don't get on? Ah, oh, look at this crow. Woo! Shit himself. He scared him. He scared him out of his skin. Didn't expect that. So crows are so intelligent. He's not going to hurt him. He's just playing. I'm going to nip your tail for a laugh. Make him jump. <laughs> So they're so funny. Ah, oh, look at that little bird giving the kitten a year scratch. Is that nice? Yeah. Ah. Uh, okay. Give me the grub. Get me some more. Come on, bird. Do you know um apparently budgies are like fucking five grand to buy us? Not budgies, these things. Um parrots, they're like five thousand dollars. Can't even buy them. I'd love a parrot. Let's see. Get get down tonight. Get down tonight. Make a little love, do a little dance, get down tonight, get down tonight. That's uh, swans and uh, pigeons getting down to Casey and the Sunshine Band. What? Casey and the Sunshine Band? Yeah, I love Casey and the Sunshine Band. Really? Yeah, really. Imagine having that. I love, I love a monkey and a donkey. And you could do this to your monkey. Am I beautiful? You're very beautiful and very noble. I feel very beautiful and very noble. I feel very, very elegant and very beautiful. I feel it's just oozing from me. Yeah, I feel very beautiful and very noble. Oh, it's lovely. It feels lovely. Ah. Come on, you smelly pussy. Give me get a fucking wash. Chimps washing cats off. <laughs> and more. This guy's actually riding a big ram. A ram good. Okay, let's have a look at them tap dancing monkeys i don't like actually i want all oh, that's another thing if i'm president yeah which is gonna ha could happen actually it could be leader of britain any day now after this could have a coup de gras and they've just put me on the throne with my big bong and um, ah oh, all zoos must be closed zeus's and all animals in captivity freed to the streets come on Oh, I'm gonna fuck a bloom. So that's really cruel. That rabbit is destroyed. 
sure maybe somebody will lend him a lend him a hand. Oh, go on, you can jump in, little bunny. It's only over by there. Go on. No, little bunnies must be the cutest thing ever. You are, there's a bunny. He's definitely going to try and get in there, Jemima. Come on, come on. No, they're not very good. Some of them are just not naturally good at it, are they? It's like people. He's like, oh, fucking hell. Come on, let me get in there, Jemima. Oh, no. So not even rabbits got it down. Okay. Ah, I love bunnies. He jumped out of his little skin, though. They get scared. They get stressed out fucking terrible. They should invent, like, a bunny valium. Ah, look at this horse. Horses are the beautifulest animals in the world, aren't they? And they're not only naturally designed to carry people with them skinny legs. Not sure they're even happy about it. Yeah, look at this horse. He literally could have broke his back then. That's not even good. Horses easily break their backs. Um, I'm not sure what animal that is. He's got a, a face like a Constantina. If anyone knows what it is, it's like a seal, lion seal. And a horse getting picking up that cat. No, it's a bunny. It's a bunny. He's picking up a bunny. He's not going to eat it. Horses are vegetarians. They don't eat bunnies. Ah, oh, like a baby elephant. You can have them in the house. As long as they don't grow up. Ah, uh, it's a lovely bit in your... Ah! Uh, okay. Oh, he's got munchies. He's got munchies. He's going to pour them out. They're really clever bunnies. I love bunnies. He's got fiskers. <laughs> Turtles are clever too. They does weird shit. They'll have a go at you. They'll try and beat you up. Yeah, they will. They'll try and fucking bite you and stuff. Beat you up. He's like, yeah, no, fuck you. You ain't feeling that. Yeah. That's what, that's how I love cats. They're honest. He's like, yeah, you're a bitch. I can just fucking sense you. You just got a fucking bad vibe, bitch. Okay. I fell down the toilet once when I was a kid. Yeah, I did. I, I went, just stood on the seat, actually, to like close the window. And my foot went down the toilet and the flush went at the same time. I went hysterical. I thought I was going to go round and round and end up in Bristol Channel. Yeah. With all the poo down the sewer. So, yeah, so for the next 10 years, then I gave it up by the time I was a man. Um, every time I pulled the flush, I run down the stairs to get away from the petrifying flush that actually tried to eat my foot. So, yeah, I got flush trauma, guys. Have you? I got loads of different traumas. Yeah, fucking hell. It's no wonder I'm like I am, guys, this fucking place. So we got Vichy France, Anger's Fra Anger France, or Anger France, or Anger. France, depending on how you want to say it. But I think we'll go to Saturday Flips today and go through some interesting imagery. Because of the time aspect, I can always just come back in a day or so. I'm talking for two hours, 20 minutes. By the time I've done these, it'll be like three hours. <coughs> so, yeah, this building is being um, what looks like renovated. And they have them portals, like I mentioned, with somatic windows in them. One either side of the doors. Do you think that's to, like air brick for air to get in the building? Well, what with a somatic pattern? Oh man, this thing was something giving off sound in the past. And it is. Uh, I think that's in New York. New York, New York. So good they named it twice. I love it, it is. And there's another massive tower block that they put up uh they're horrible aren't they knickerbocker village block g even the block name is horrible but how many people would live in there oh and they knocked all them beautiful houses down to put people into blocks of flats really disgusting a city in ancient greece Let's see what ancient greece looked like oh, it's quite beautiful wasn't it before something really terrible happened so the Greeks are a funny lot it's not the Greeks anyway the Greeks is like a colloquial term for anyone in the Eastern Mediterranean it's more like the Stoics the Stoics is what I think anyway so this is somewhere that interests me um, last time I went to Istanbul and I've got to see it this is um, an old um, 3D interpretation of the city of Istanbul that was Constantinople and Byzantia okay um, but this is the Hippodrome, okay? And it is a Roman Hippodrome. 
if you want to call it that. And it has all the spoils of their conquests of the empire, and they are all obelisks and technologies. And what happens in the uh, Hippodrome itself um, is apparently like um, stock car racing. And this is it in the modern day. So you can go there in the modern day. The Hippodrome is such, the building itself is not there. Uh, but in the middle of the avenue, they have all of them that were in this. Uh, you know, these ones that are lined up there, you see, uh, here in the modern day. Um, and this is a highly interesting one. So they took this from somewhere that they, you know, the Byzantines took over um, or whoever. Um, and it's just metal and it's got oxidization so there's some sort of copper in it maybe as well um but a curl you know what was that in the in the past quite unbelievable uh, terraforming yeah that's a good one so um, amazes um native americans that have it um the manator uh the half man half bull in the center of the labyrinth of knossos but church floors also have mazes in here this one um i'll show you one in a minute in amian but what you can also see is the maze is also the human mind. Okay, You've got the walls of Troy that look like a maze. Nazca looks like a maze. Um, rocks of the Finnic coast. I'm not sure what that is. Isle of Weir, Temple of Halabid, and uh, the lawn at Troy Farm. I don't know what that means, actually. Um, but, yeah, but it's. I think the labyrinth is to do with the journey of the inner mind. She was a Native American Indian who was let a bird shit all down his face. And he's just left it there. He's not mind the mind of it. I think you're gonna have a bird on your head. You should get some good relationship going on with it, you know. Oh, the later book easy reads are looking for mother's secret stash. Well, go to where she never goes, try the oven. Yeah. My nana, my grandmother, she was always trying to stash cash. And I sat around the kitchen table once, and she says to the family, when well, we were all having sat around talking family stuff, she said, oh, I've, I I hide my money somewhere else now. Uh, I don't put it where I've stayed, changed my money stash. People stash cash. And while she's telling them, and they're all like, oh, really? I'm looking at the teapot on the table with a crocheted uh, cover over the teapot and the crochet and i looked through the holes in the crochet teapot and there were 20s and 10s <laughs> i thought i sat there quiet i never told a soul i thought yeah no no i can see where your money is it's on the table you're gaslighting everybody <laughs> funny car so our kids in these days are out of control back in my day kids were put together and would teach one another how to play instruments like the bassoon yeah do you want another cone of that bassoon <laughs> <coughs> Fuck. Bongs. Awesome. You only had one fucking job. He's a Welsh border collie. He can't really help it. Yeah. And he's only going to shag the one anyway. He's going to realize it's not a good thing. This is a free festival in Britain. They used to have them all over the place when I was young, guys. So what would happen is they put up a big stage. Uh, thousands of people would turn up. And there would be no, I was going to say filth, and then police. There would be no police except for undercover drug squad, uh, but they usually get sniffed out anyway, and um, stuff like that. And they were amazing. They used to have brilliant bands on, and they don't do that anymore. You're not allowed to do anything anymore. Any, anything, not even say anything on YouTube. You know, do this, you know, to do that. You got to do what they fucking want. Fuck off. This is what I want candy cigarettes when I was a kid. Yeah, pretend smoke like the grown ups. I'm going to smoke like my father. My father didn't smoke, actually. I'm going to smoke like um, Jack Palance. I'm going to smoke like Jack Palance. <laughs> well, this is in Cardiff Castle. And I was surprised to find images of the clock tower being built. Now, the rest of it was supposed to be the manor house. It was built in the 1860s by the famous architect Burgess, but the clock tower as well. Um, but there is evidence here that the clock tower wasn't built was already seems to be there to a certain extent but the clock tower went up made in a chinese style and fashion what happened to this broadwalk it got taken down i'd love to know when it got taken down it's not been there in my lifetime on the wall of cardiff castle 
Interesting to see photos of it actually being built because I would have sworn this was an ancient tower. The rest of the castle is ancient, as you can see, but they built that, which is in the modern day, which has got Chinese pagoda, Chinese pagoda style topping. Uh, so, yeah, that's an 1800s built. So this um, existed and it got taken down in um, Buffalo in um, New York and it was going over the river and they dismantled it. It looks a bit like London Bridge. Tenements on a river. Destroyed. Dismantled. Alexandra Medici. Alexandra Medici looks to be a bit of a ginger. I think the Medici's were all gingers, but if you ask me, he looks a bit... Um, Um, ragamuffin and a rough is what he looks. looks. Looks a little dark to the Medici boy. So this looks like um, a place I went to in San Diego. There's like hotels all over America look like this. Um, but you can see this beautiful air bloom coming into land. Drop off some people into that beautiful Tatarian building. Oh, and then drop them off into New York on the Statue of Liberty with your beautiful, beautiful bloom. There you go. Delivered straight to Midtown. There. All the way from Europe. And what a beautiful crossing. So the Phoenicians were definitely in Spain. I know the Moors were in Spain, set up universities. But prior to the Moors, the Phoenicians were definitely, definitely in Spain. And they founded the city of Cadiz, apparently, according to this. I haven't seen any literal evidence to support that, but you know, words on the internet makes it true, apparently. But interesting if you in Punic Spain, if that's the case, I would like to uh, see some literal evidence to support that in my Phoenician collection, which I haven't read, not just yet. But the interesting Cadiz, because I've been there a couple of times, is thought to be atlantis in fact santorini was thought to have been atlantis before it got blown up <coughs> so here as uh, mesoamericans and then i think they're preparing some ayahuasca or something i know he's got a skull on his head it's a strange crotchy cattle death cult there's a, a lot there's a website um or, or facebook group of abandoned buildings in wales there's so many of them abandoned buildings why doesn't somebody just use your initiative and buy these places out and just do them up so it looks like um arnold Schweit. look at that evil look on his face get the helicopter you want to live follow me yeah annie yeah um his, his boy uh girlfriend looks like she's got a pair of budgie smugglers on She's smuggling, she's smuggling more than budgies, I think, guys. So, yeah, what evil look on his face. That's not even, like, lusty, is it? That's evil. Why is he licking a belly for the weird fuck? That face you make when you realise you're going to have to lie for the rest of your life. Now, the face on Neil Armstrong on the press conference when they just got back from the moon gives it all away says it all and the conversations that's going on about they didn't see the moon uh, the stars and solar corona etc it's just craziness but his face is just the deepest depression i've looked at this and i thought well, maybe he was under mind control and they thought it was actually happening maybe they simulated it for them you know to enhance the lie later that they actually believe that they went um, but that guy he's deeply fuck head fucked look at him he's just like a thousand mile stare and that's not because he's been to the moon that's because he's got a life for the rest of his life. Which he did. Right to the end. Somebody knocked up this. This is a who's who of the internet, isn't it? Where we got we got we got um we got uh Hibbler there, Sean. Somebody stuck me on there with all these people. I don't know half of them are. Big Bears there, Santos, um, Eddie Bravo there. I don't know who the fuck they are. I don't know them, don't know them. David Weisage and Oddity TV. Don't know, don't know, don't know, don't know. Oh, uh, Michelle uh, Gibson. And um, why is Julian Estrange on there? He's not a fucking truther. What's he doing on there? 
Don't know him. Don't know him. Uh, oh, that's with uh, Austin Whitsitt, isn't it? And Eric Dupé. Eric Dupé talked to um, Mark Devlin. I was like, ah, oh, why won't you talk to me? She wouldn't talk to me. I've asked a hundred times. I'd like to wake up in the morning and step out on my hotel window to that, would you guys? Baking out and that outside your window. Can you imagine? It's about 50 million times better than where I am now, that is. Like, literally. So they used to put stilts up. Uh, this is the old town hall of Hereford in uh, Demolished now, where I where I live. Um, so near the borders of Wales, Hereford. Um, and they put, put it on stilts. So I'm wondering if it was for flood protection, you know, to put the building up on stilts, because they do that in... Uh, Sam Tripoli, yeah, no. Um, they do it in like places like Indonesia, don't they? Stilted buildings. So here's uh, some Masonic coding. It's all in here, look. The Masonic codes we covered in my last post. Supreme Council, 33. Oh, in um, uh, Fallout, that program, it's Vault 33. <laughs> no fucking shit. That's tech, tech on there. These menorah type candles. You've got a skeleton, the ladder, you got the old ladder lean, haven't you? And the steps going up to Jesus and the all seeing eye in the pyramid, all fully Masonic, Jock and Bois, all with the curtains for the stage show. Wow. It's like some really extreme version of Nazism, isn't it? It's like devil Nazism. So I'm wondering, like, I, I don't believe for a second, right, that Charles Manson is 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 um, George Bush because that's just stupid. He's like a little tiny weedy guy, isn't he? You know, Manson. He's about five seven. He's five six, and like that, isn't he? So he's got a swastika on his head, haven't he? That's what he's famous for, isn't he? No, really, he's got a swastika tattoo on some of his photos. It's one way. And sometimes it's not there at all. Other times it's this way. And other times it's inverted the other way. Um, it's just like um, not the same. And it's smaller and it's bigger. Um, how many, um, what a real Charles Manson really stand up? So mass murder uh, by actually killing nobody. And his swastika seems to have been gone by that period. Maybe he had it too, because you can move his back on now, because he's on the cover of his new book. There it is. Charles Manson, A Life from Beginning to End, his new book. And he's got his swastika back on. He's apparently got married and stuff as well. Um, obviously, he's an actor. He doesn't really spend time in jail. And he brought on the hippie, hippie movement and brought the world into a new paradigm. Because it made it really unfavorable to be a hippie because they end up in cults and mind controlled and ends off going killing fucking Sharon Tate on your day off, which makes no sense whatsoever. Stupid. And Sharon Tate got trained by Bruce Lee. I'm sure she could have put a fight up. She was a big, she was a big girl. She was a ton bigger than fucking Roman Polanski. I really think she could have battered them birds that turns up to apparently like Karen Kasabian, etc. To kill her. I think she could have beat him up. So, yeah, they had big ladders back in the day, didn't they, guys? This is in San Francisco. Immense halls and ceilings, all built by horse and carts. You mess them up, you wash them. That's fair enough. Her mother taught her that people must clean up the mess they make. Yeah, I think that's okay. But I'll wash them because they're going to get really messy. Okay. Shower while you shit. Yes, please. I want to try that. I want that. I want that. I want a disabled toilet. I want a nice disabled toilet um, with bars on and comfy seats. Why don't we have padded toilet seats then, guys? Why have we always got to suffer when we shit? Oh, I know. I'll start my day. i got to do this. First thing i, I got to do is shit. Brilliant. And sit on a cold, hard seat. Do you think humanity would evolve to the point where we could have had soft, leather, even felt seats? But there was men going to piss all over them, so that's not a good idea. But, yeah, I'd like to sit there and have a shower of water while I poo. Yay. 
So do you see this? This is the land uh, still up there. It was the greatest, biggest, most expensive vehicle ever to be designed. And it was taken to the moon in the bottom of the limb, apparently. Um, but what you're looking at is the chassis of the Jeep. Um, they gave us the chassis of a Jeep. It is identical. It is a Jeep. And told us it cost a squillion dollars. And you all got to pay for a Jeep. It's a Jeep. The Lander is a Jeep. A world where everyone believes what you believe in exactly the same way. Yeah, this is the problem, isn't it? It's, I thought about this earlier before I went live. It's like, fuck, most people believe terrible shit and they're all in this weird cult thing going on and like a lot of them and not too many people. Well, it's getting more, but I want the, the scales to tip where most people are loving and groovy and all the other people just got to be loving and groovy. Otherwise, they're going to look like cunts. Oscar Wilde. A picture of Dorian Grape. Brilliant. Let that grape get all your nasty diseases. Get out there. Yeah. Infected gills. Start a book. Spy on yourself. I wanted to be a spy. Um, I even, when I was a security guard in Tesco's, I applied for a job as a... Um, um, private detective agency in Splot. Um only it wasn't what I thought it was to do with divorces and following people around who are carrying on and stuff. I didn't fancy that. I wanted a gun. I wanted to be fucking Dick Tracy, man. I want to fucking get off and solve some super criminals, <laughs> you know? So, yeah, that didn't happen. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I'm, I'm doing good stuff anyway. Um, all safe in the Titanic after the collision. Yeah, the newspapers that day reported Titanic sinking. No loss of lives. No, no, they had people turn up. Titanic sent no loss of lives. Collision with iceberg. Largest ship in the world. Um, lives in peril, but rushed to liners to the rescue. So there are loads of liners turned up and rescued them all in all the newspapers. But for the last, like, uh, 100 years, they're doing this narrative of everyone got killed. It's weird, isn't it? Why did he do that? So, yeah, but it was first day of spring today, so silver liner minor, eh? But it has done that. Can you remember that year lockdown? Oh, fuck me. Excuse me. Lockdown year was beautiful. The sky was beautiful. The weather was beautiful. Everything was beautiful. And, uh, wankers. That looks like that bit has been just added and didn't go there originally. This is in, uh, I think it's Greece. But yeah, that bit on the top looks replaced. And what is the score with temples? I looked it up. They say that they where you worship a deity. I don't think so. I think something else was going on in temples. <laughs> this is a 1964 uh, Cortina, Lotus Cortina. Don't know whether you can remember the good old Cortinas, guys. The Lotus Cortina was the juice. Yeah, that was beautiful. That's an old British classic car. Beautiful interior leather seat. Smells yummy. You will want to crash one. Yeah, I've traveled quite a long distances in Cortinas in my time. So Anna Cleves is still buried in um, Westminster Abbey. You can go and see her. One of uh, Henry VIII's uh, ginger wives who he executed, they say. Anna Cleves, born in England a, in 1515, died 15... Ooh. There's Armageddon through the portal, guys. It's not happening here. It's through the portal in another place. Far away, not here. There's the Messini event that happened in Italy that like literally wrecked the place. Yeah, all the antiquity you see in Italy today uh, doesn't seem to have been affected by it. The Messini was devastated. By inundating mud flows and resonating ground. Strange signs to earthquakes. So I've really been thinking a lot about them, especially I want to turn... You know, because there, there was, like, I was reading correlations between eclipses and um, shooting stars and uh, comets and all fits in with plague, change of monarchy, war. It's like, you can't make this shit up. They're doing the exact script. This is New York back in the day, looking from Central Park direction. It looks like a circuit board of a computer, even back then. 
this year is um, the Dakota Hotel in the foreground. So this is the main building. Um, this was in um, an exposition. I can't remember which one, one of the ones in America, but this was cited as being the biggest building in the world inside for measurement of... Uh, uh, it's gone now, obviously. They just built the um, biggest building in the world. Take it down later. Doesn't matter. Mandala effect, lying in the lamb in a book is evidence of residue. They either don't know the Bible or they're just making stuff up. Lying in the lamb, which apparently doesn't appear in the Bible anymore. <laughs> so this is um, back in the day. Stonehenge was fucking awesome. So was Glastonbury back in the <coughs> late 70s, early 80s. <coughs> This is what we used to get. Yeah, can't, all these days are gone now. It's all like lab weed and everything. So like, you can't even have that. Ash for cash. Ash for cash. You have hash. You do want to get caught with black hash, Afghani black, because it comes from the Afghans. Um, Lebanese comes from the Lebanese. You have much better, much better chance. Uh, premium Moroccan. Whoa. Um, black ash. Black ash. And acid and sulfate. Do you know what sulfate is? It's amphetamines, which is... is it's like sherbet. It's not even that bad. Um, or oh, it never used to be. Okay. Stanley Kubrick's The Shining. Wendy's uh, cigarette ash you can buy if you're reenacting The Shining. I, I, I can't stand it when people do that with their ash. It drives me nuts. I stick an ashtray. I'm cheeky, me. I'll stick an ashtray into them. I'll just pass them one. It's like, uh, when they're talking so fucking much. Is it me or is that unnerving? I know they're only mannequins, but it also looks like lots of chopped off heads. I don't know. It's just my imagination. Just my imagination. This is in Quebec, Te Tepe, um, apparently the oldest archaeological site on Earth, apparently just after the Ice Age, according to, um, I won't say his name, Graham and Cook. Um, so, yeah, 12,000 euro, 10,000 euro, whatever. They don't know anything about it. And we're going to cover this. Well, we apparently go there, but they got a dude there. And it's nice to know, yeah, that he's doing a two-hand wank in antiquity. Look, both hands. So look at me, both hands. Uh, yeah, wow. And uh, Derekuru, 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 where 20,000 people could have lived safely underground, a bit like Vault in uh, the Fallout program. Never, ever populated, and no one ever lived there, but they built civilization that big. In Denakuru. So apparently we're visiting that too. So here is the unbelievable bombing job by the United States Air Force on Tokyo. Um, what did they use? It looks worse than fucking Hiroshima. All of Tokyo is gone in 1945, except for one or two buildings. Like all of Tokyo has disappeared. There is in the modern day. It's all right. We just build that shit back again. And they do, like stupidly. It's like a shit took a shit. It's all right, though. We'll get these to hold the sky up. And then it will come down. The sky's not falling in this week. Thank fuck. Chicken licking. No one listened to chicken licking, did they, guys? When the sky was falling in. So apparently you could, um, in this magazine back in the 70s, win a night out with Jimmy Savile. Okay, times change. Times change. Did you know this, ladies, when you go through, or men, when you go through um, them imagery things, yeah, then men are checking out everything. They, you, there's no privacy. They're looking at you. That ain't good. Look at him. He's like, oh, fucking hell. Not good, guys. The many things they make us do. And they talk to you like shit and push you around like you've done something wrong, like you're a criminal. It's like fucking, they don't treat you right. These are Patagonian Indians, okay, from Patagonia in the far tip of South America. And this man here is Di Evans from Wales. He's a Patagonian. He went to settle, like the Welsh did, with the Indians in Patagonia and live alongside them in Patagonia. And you have Welsh-speaking Indians there today, Welsh-speaking towns in Argentina, in Patagonia there. Beautiful landscape country that is just so big and so vast and little is known about it and they have even a welsh argentinian patagonian flag the welsh are in patagonia they went there all that way away from wales as well 
So she's doing it again, isn't she? She's something wrong mentally with Anne Margaret. She goes to Vietnam. Like these men haven't, apart from Boom Boom Girls, they haven't seen a woman in or a white woman in maybe years. Okay, she got a band. She's singing a song. We all know she can't sing, and she wears that. <laughs> so, what happens if Operation Sea Lion was successful? First. We didn't win the Battle of Britain. We ran out of fuel. We got too many airport, airports bombed. We didn't win the Battle of Britain. Operation Sea Line happens, and the Nazis invade Britain. We will bite them on the features. We will no. We will fight them on the beaches. Um, we will never surrender. It's like what what Churchill was saying. The rest of Britain was like, "Yeah, you first, then fat boy." Yeah. Do you notice? Yeah, the Nazis have taken over the whole world but not Wales. See this bit here? This is where I come from. Do you know why? Because we fuck them up. You can't beat Wales. Okay. So here's another, some other you know, maps. Maybe somebody's saying it's literal hell in Australia. I've never been there. I mean, World War II. Okay, here's the Nazis. Here's the Italians and the Spanish. They're old Mexico. Oh, that makes sense. Israel is all of that big there, Sparta. Um, I don't know what that says, but it does say for the French, pussies for the French on the map. And um, this is an interesting one. California's over there. New York's there. The rest of it is Texas. So, which is fair enough. Uh, Roger Waters and Robert Plant. Robert Plant is actually one of those Cabbage Patch babies. He was born in a cabbage. Hey, hey, mom, I'm going to spread my wings. So um, animals also create beautiful architecture. And I'm sure this is something to do with sound and vibration. Um, termites have built a termite cathedral, which looks like Gaudi's Cathedral in Barcelona, doesn't it? 559 of you watching. Thank you for visiting and um, spending time here today. Oh, that's a lovely image, isn't it? I'm flat with British. Um, please, if you did like this video, thumbs it up. It doesn't really come out in the analytics. It doesn't matter. It makes me happy. Um, donate to this channel. Um, that would be awesome. And like my video and the other thing. Share, 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 share. Share, make sure it goes out. Not to share, though. Don't share to share. Um, I noticed this person is ginger. Why in all of the artworks of the old world are they ginger? I wonder what's going on. So she's got a strange harpsichord type affair with the pipes. I say she. Don't really, can't really tell, can you? They got beautiful stuff in the Middle Ages. So the jester, he was the most smartest in the in the court. He knew a thing or two. The fool. Yeah. Nobody's going to be suspicious of an old fool. Nobody's going to question an old fool. They're just going to let him carry on. And as long as you keep playing a the fool, they don't bother you. But really, you see all. You know all. So the activity is a bit weird, isn't it? Okay, I thought he was born in a stable. Well, why is the world resetting? All, all nativity impressions of the Middle Ages, the Renaissance pictures, always show the world has been reset. This building's definitely been reset, hasn't it? Um, but he's born in a stable, which actually looks like a house. Okay, so donkeys in there, so it's a stable. I think this big black guy's probably a magi. Yeah, these are the magi's. Gold frankincense and myrrh, little baby Jesus. Um, I know it's the magi has a red cape. He also has a red cape. She has a red cape. A lot of red capeage, but they are superheroes. Let's have a look at the world in the background. Bethlehem has skyscrapers. Okay. I love you. Yes, I do. Right. This is um, reaching up into the ether. I love these. I haven't seen too many of these. But a lovely bit of antiqua tech going on. Look at that decoration as well there with the shells. And the leaves. So um, this is from the old days, obviously. But um, he's got some sort of machine which is plugged in, which is showing a shiny night. So I can only presume that this is some sort of holography. Um, I don't think that the knight is just like standing there on a stool with a wire um, and then he just lights up. He's like, behold, a knight, because obviously these are not the days of knights. These are like um, 18th century dudes. Um, so, yeah, I think it's some sort of holography going on. 
So I was going to show you this earlier in the book, but there's plenty of these around of the king of the ta Chinese Tata. It's got um, an all C and I on his head, and he's also a real big giant. It's a real big giant. Kings of Tartaria. So this looks musical as well, like music frozen or regularium or that lattice work, but crystallized in form. It's that built in. It's music. It's music. Buildings and music, some of them. All of them. His Holiness Pope Leo awards gold medal to recognize the benefits of receiving Vin Mar Marinini. Um, I think that got renamed Martini uh, for body, brain, and nerves, apparently. And um, you give it a big shout out to this guy here on Mortimer Street, Montreal. He's knocked up some, uh, some good stuff, which is basically uh, Martini, dirty Martini. Or it will be. So these angels are holding a reliquary, and in the reliquary is a white ball in a glass thing. Um, I'm wondering what it is. Is it antimatter? Is it if I can what? Angel glory. Equal peanut panis. Penis. What do you reckon it is, guys? It's holy stuff. They got holy stuff in a reliquary thing. It's it's um essence of god it's divinity if you eat it it'd be amazing spring's coming guys Woo bees and the birds are getting ready to do their thing the already the pigeons are they're really happy so, get stuck in so in um 7th of may which is in a week or so's time um, i'll be presenting live in truth juice i've done truth juice i've hired the place myself back in the day but it's an awesome venue. Many, many famous troopers have been there in the past, all of them really. Um, and it's in Birmingham, and I'll be there on the 7th of May. Um, if you wanna, if you're in the local vicinity and you wanna catch me there and hang out as we are presenting for an hour or two, but we do get to have a talk and stuff, which is pretty good. And here's this festival. I'm looking forward to this now. Um Because I love a little festival, and it's in. Um, I don't know any of these people. Who's that? Um, Abby Roberts. Don't know Richard Vogues. Oh yeah, I seen him. Um, it's all healing area. Loads a stage. Got a good stage. You have, and I've spoke to him on the phone. So we all connect in a beautiful surroundings, nestled in the woodland area. The Quentin stage experience. That sounds good. As long as it's loud. And they said they can play music till two in the morning. So it's going to be a proper festival. Not going to bed. Yeah. The hoods in the woods. So, yeah. So, um, read the headliners. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Um, they haven't put me on there yet. I don't know who Reminis is. Remis. So the fucking rap. I don't know. Uh, Victoria. I don't know who they are. But I, I'm sure it'll be a lot of fun. Oh, and there's Dad and Nez bit. There's Nez. Who's the dad's band. And then that looks a happy band. So it looks like a lot of fun. Conscious rappers. Oh, God, no. Um, Rise Above. I know these guys. Uh, Rise Above. They're doing a bit there. Um, yet, to, yet to hook up with these guys. Um, don't know where. Have you heard of her? She talks about... Fucking one. Uh, Matt Letizier. And I don't know any... I know he's a British footballer. And David Weiss. So... I'm going to be there. Oh, it's going to be good. And uh, get your ticket chair there. It's linked under the description box. And there it is. Just a nice little festival. The little, it's only 3,000 capacity, but the little ones are the best, guys. You don't have people all up in your shit or anything. You, know, you do your thing. That's what it's all about. And you want to be yourself, don't you? You want to be left alone. <coughs> I do, anyway. So um, I'm not doing any any harm. Just want to be like um, people minding their own business. Um, and there's that uh, holiday experience for people to tour Europe. All them sites I just showed you. Old World Tours. Myself, Campbell, um, and Luke, who is Asian to Storia. Um, he's a good boy, young, young Luke. He's super smart. I don't know if you've caught his stuff, but look, Gebekli Tepe and, and uh, Adelphi and Santorini and everything. So, 
Um, if you can go, you can make payment plans and stuff, apparently. Um, it's six months down the road anyway. It's in um, uh, September. So hopefully that's going to be good and the war don't fucking bugger anything up. Because that would be pants. So I've been talking for, oh, my God, three hours. Oh, thanks, Eats. I got super thick guy. Little wing. I want the little wing. Groovy in the heart. Groovy in the heart. She was um, 50 the other day. The, the girl, the French girl from Groovy in the heart. I thought she looked really well for 50 years of age. I thought she was a lot younger, but everyone's bloody younger than you these days. Isabella was doing one in North Wales. No, nah, man. We got a passport to go to North Wales, from South Wales, bro. It's like another world. We don't we just don't go there. We don't even recognize its existence. Okay. So it's just a Welsh thing. Got nothing against them or anything. We just don't know anything about it. You've heard of well, North Wales. And yours, Lisa, why do wait Wales? Good lineup for the festival. Hope to pop along. There's some media people going. My mate um, Katie and Crossy, Stephen, who I was in school with, are going. So some are friends. And yeah, it's going to be really good. And I love festivals. It's going to be bad. Love it. Glastonbury sucks. Ugh. All that fucking Illuminati fuckers. And even on a pyramid stage. It's just fucking. And they're all like doing that thing. You know, they does have their fingers. I'm not going to do it because it packs a punch. Austin, what's that? Um, listen in Texas, brother. Love you, brothers and sisters in Texas. You know I've got a big, big soft spot for Texas. Fucking love the place. Big time. Looked after me so well. Oh, I just fell in love with it. The hot wind that blows on you. The massive skies. The endless plains. <laughs> and the big cities. Houston. What's that, Dan? Glastonbury's way overrated, Jamie. It used to be good back in the day when it first started and all that. Bro, it was fucking the best thing you can imagine. But as soon as he put up that fence, it all went to shit. But he had no choice in the matter. They were going to get rid of it, weren't they? And he's one of them. Curve water. Otherwise, he wouldn't be able to play. He takes like tens of millions every year. Was he sharing that with? Is he keeping it all to live in his farmhouse and milk cows all fucking year? Think about that. Uh, somewhere in Texas. Ooh. Somewhere in Texas. Feel a song coming on. Magavelli. Great episode. Thank you. We're not quite done yet. I've got stuff. I've got loads of stuff, actually. Just looking at time. <laughs> you probably got to go home now, haven't you? Have you got stuff to do? Have you got to vacuum the cat? Whatever. Okay, let's look at some more pictures. These ones are font and blue, are beautiful. That's outside Paris, isn't it? I think we'll look at them. I was gonna look at Gujarat. Uh cute critters was lovely, pandaverse. I love that, love dance. Yeah, fuck Vichy France. We don't want to see them. Don't see that. Okay. Cute critters, they go down really well. I love cute critters. Okay, let's look at um one more um item or two uh for 10 more minutes or so while um What's that, you? So it's Martin or Martini. Well, today I am, um, I was going to say Baron, but that's just stupid. Marcus von Lietke. Marcus von Lietke um, today. Okay. Pickle, pickle. Uh, Wales is lovely and hilly. Wales is absolutely gorgeous. It's a beautiful country. If you ever seen Hobbit World, that's Wales, only better. See, existentially, Welsh people know that they're fantastic. They just don't bother fucking telling everybody. Everyone's like, oh, you're Welsh. I got Welsh. I'm third Welsh. So you're third Welsh. Are you? Yeah, I've got Welsh grandma, uncle. It's like I have, yeah. Yeah. So everyone wants to be Welsh because it's really sad to see. It's like, you're Welsh. It's like, yeah. It's like, wow. What's that like? It's like, well, it's rare because there's not many of us, like worldwide. And uh, we'd have great music. But we don't do very well in sports. Um, I'd love to go to Texas and have an ice cold beer with you and Jace. <laughs> well, I'm on um, Archaic's channel tomorrow uh, at 9 o'clock GMT. We're going to go through photos. Um, Jace, and there's, he's doing like a meet and that, but I can't get to because i got fucking shit um, in Tampa. Uh, but later on in the year, um, I think he's doing something. He wants me to go. He asked me. Phone me. Ask me, so I want to. 
uh, sort something else. Spunk, what's that? Sperm or blue tip? Um, LT good. Um, I don't know. Yeah, Wales, we got all the Welsh here. Hippie Shake, she's from Tenby. Do you know what you get? Do you know what you get to Tenby? 1B, 2B, 3B. That's a real life. That's school joke. Okay. Lisa uh, Thomas. Well, we can literally check our cymatics and um, have someone play it. Oh, listen, it's an unbelievable science. We've been looking into it for a long while. But I think there's more permeations that we weren't looking into, you know, the more benefits for humanity from. The Antiquitank movement saves humanity. Yeah, I love it. I love it. It's the best thing I've ever done, man. Yeah, saving humanity. <laughs> And they'll all be happy. They'll all be happy little guys, girls. They'll all have money, so they'll be able to do things. Yeah? Don't know what I'm going to do with all the druggies, though. That's unfortunate, isn't it? They don't even want to be cured, half of them. Crime, see? It's really horrible. I don't like dishonesty and criminal behaviour. So you're going to have to think about what we're going to do with all that as well. And then... Criminals. It's just like no. Don't don't take off others. Fuck off. Looking forward to uh you're coming back. Oh, I'll be back in America. Don't worry, I'm back over there quite a bit in the future. Be like my little second home. <sighs> Down Harlow Castle, never seen it, mate. I went to North Wales one place called Flandellas, and that we took out literally um, a jetty with a ship, like literally nearly died. Fucking front of the ship was like peeled back. I was on the on the forecastle at the time, so that's all I remember. Yes, you got killed again. Snowdonia, yeah, I've seen that, but from from the from the sea, never been near it. It's a big mountain. Uh, Vinnie Doom, Martin, went. Oh, what's that? What's that? Uh, Martin uh, went out for a smoke and forgot you were here. Bloody hell, I love it. Oh, Vinny, don't worry. You know, if you don't smoke in your house, then we, you know, we should just hold off. That's all right. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Oh, oh. Um, Linda, who is garden goddess. Hi, Linda. Hi, Martin from Texas. Still, we love you. I got, I got all the Texas guys in. Woohoo. Texas rules the world. Texas rules the world. Okay. Uh, Coac Whitford. Um, Amnesty Co Coalition. Uh, Vivianus, that's what you're saying, baby. Okay, doing good. Okay, that's good to you, Viv. You keep it, keep it epic. What's Holly? Is she saying? Um, oh, she's in Minnesota. It's pretty. It's all pretty, isn't it? It's all pretty, America. It's a pretty country. Uh, going out, except for like the big city bits, they're not so pretty. They're just mind blowing. It's like, fuck. Them highways you've got, they fuck my head up the most. I just never get, ever gonna get used to a fucking interstate in my life. All that shit flying towards you. It's like a thousand million things happening all at once, and it's all high speed. I'm like, fuck. Like that. Uh GY Taraka. It's like just craziness. It's like you think people get killed all day long. They do. Especially on high. On uh, I-45, fuck me, every day you go out and there's like traffic jams where something really gnarly has happened. It's horrible. Ian, uh, can you photo Mont Blanc from Snowden? Um, I think there'd be too much atmospheric disturbance, moisture, particulates. I don't think you can see that sort of distance unless it was crystal clear uh, sky. But no, I don't think so. But interesting. But I don't think you would see that far. Uh, Ventra, I don't know what that is, Dallas uh, Highway. Ventra, oh, I've been on that. No, I've been on that. Pickup car from LAF me. Oh, look at you. It's the LA. Curious is a lorry. Curious squirrel. Hi, lovely. Oh, 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 oh. We see. Um, that picture of the angels and the white ball, oh yeah, was Latin and translated, behold, the bread of the angel. It was just a wafer floating. 
bread of the angel sounds so, so it's like sounds like cannabis doesn't it but that wouldn't be why bread of heaven lamb lamb's bread lamb's bread to tell you i will see okay eddie good to see you what's that adam my bro nah i've been at both you're a fucking legend you are at uh mont blanc in france what about it is there any snow on mont blanc no not in the summer drew wolf uh once again i'm higher than a kite it's a good day fucking hell look at you drew high as a kite good wanna get high wanna get high You just ate the most ads in Edison anyone in my whole life. Do you think I've been smoked? It's one of the best films ever made. I do. And Blues Brothers is one of the best films as well ever made, obviously. How, 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 how. I'd love to go to Maxwell Street on um, in Chicago. I wonder if it is like that with all the blues players and stuff. Do you think it is? Probably not anymore, is it? We went, like, me and Sherlock, we went hunting to LaGrange because of fucking ZZ Top. Like, ZZ Top's like, oh, the women are wicked. They got it all going on. So we drove, like, forever to LaGrange, and it was closed. Like, literally, Rona murdered it, and there was nothing open anymore, ever. It was terrible. So, oh, disappointing. Gibbons, you... Well, he's not lying. You probably just don't know. It was probably epic back then. It's not no more. <clears throat> Ace, loads of places fell uh, fell to that and ended up having to close up and stuff. They need to legalize marijuana. I know the prison problem in Texas and stuff, but they really need to. Then all them empty buildings can be pharmacies, like they've done in Berlin. <laughs> they don't money back. You won't lose it all in prison service. They can just do it back on the taxes. They'll be charging on the, all the growers that will be built, doing it now. They need to do that. Like ASAP. I know Biden just let everyone out in America for possession of cannabis, places like Tennessee and Texas and stuff that haven't got done with legalization just yet. But um it's just ridiculous. You no, know, you can be in one, you know, it's just like you just drive over to New Mexico and it's fucking legal and drive back. And it's not it's just, what? It's not even a fucking border, it's just a fucking street. It makes no sense. But it's nice when you get to New Mexico and you start to see them ganja leaf signs. <laughs> What's that? Oh, I didn't. I went to LaGrange, didn't we? Yeah, it was not happening. You know, it was. I wasn't disappointed because we've seen loads of groovy things on the way there. There's always loads of groovy things to look at in Texas. They got loads of groovy towns, like the stockyards in. Um, Fort Worth, fucking mind blow there. Longhorns, man. Longhorn cows. Oh, man, they're lush. Just want to kiss one. They got massive horns, the length of this room. And they just like chill. They're like that. Yeah, don't fuck with me. They just chill. Groovy. Fucking love them. And they, I wonder if they eat longhorns. I hope not. Be really cruel. Yes, donate to Martin Leaker's uh, future existence would be absolutely epic. I'm in terrible trouble. Uh, trying to exist for some reason. That's probably because I never joined the Illuminati, isn't it? Probably. I know. But I prefer it here anyway. The world that I live in. I love it. In fact. So. Fuck you. Um, is Mel here? Uh, um, well, her phones. She rang me a, a, a little while ago. Her phones on the bleak. Uh, how about Lance? Lance is probably here somewhere. Fitzy, baby. Um, Mel, no, I'll have to, like, her phone's not really, um, full, the memory's full, so she can't, like, do WhatsApp or whatever. So, I have to give her a ring, find out if she's all right. We haven't been up there for a while to see how she is. And D matters, but she's trying to sell a boat. She got a boat for sale, a nice little, uh, fishing boat on the marina. So, <laughs> hopefully she's, uh, sold that. I'm living on the other boat that she stayed on, which is a lovely boat. So get and uh, buy a boat off Mel. Flat of British subscriber channel. Right, what are you saying, Lee, my old fruit? Um, I'm not sure if the word genius is right word to tab you, Martin. Um, nevertheless, 
Is that a compliment, Lee? Ditto. Ditto, my, ditto, my old China. Ditto. Takes one to know one. Uh, when the penny dropped for me was when I saw them close up. Uh, shamans, medicine men, smoking bongs, trapped up with Mary Jane and cocaine. Uh, no, in the main brain. No, 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 no. I don't. I don't like um, actual drugs. They're bad. It's like my, literally, my friend uh, Luke. Still, I'm really fucking got used to it. Uh, the idea of him being dead. Uh, but he destroyed his young life last year on cocaine and died. It was a fucking tragedy. Everyone hated it. Everyone hated the thought of him gone. He was the life and soul. I'd had a track drop dead mopping because of coke. Fuck that shit. <coughs> oh, it's all fun and games. People think it's fun and games. They, they literally, oh, I know all oh, of my friends are dead from booze and drugs. Okay. All of them. And everyone, even my wife there, everyone thinks it's all a game. But it ain't a game when it fucking kills you, is it? Don't do it. Make the most of your life. Oh, fucking, I'm a, I'm a fucking, re, I'm a fucking Rillo. I'm a, I'm a, I love, I like Amarillo, Dallas, but I did get my wallet stolen in the fucking hotel in Amarillo. And what's that has 64 ounce steak you can eat? Mate, I can't even eat your food in America. I'm British. I hardly fucking eat at all. Yeah? I live on fucking nine soup. Um, and snacks. I ate Mexican. Yeah, so we all went to Mexican food, right? Um, and literally, I thought I was going to die because I never ate that much food and it tasted so damn good I was not leaving it. And I'm laying there going, oh, what's fucking Cheryl? What's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? She's, it's called full i was like i don't like it i'm gonna die i never died it's just called full so i don't know why they eat so much food it's fucking terrible like and then you gotta take what you don't eat away in a box because they give you too much food there's just no need for it i don't want like tiny little fucking dishes obviously but fuck and i haven't got the stomach for it anyway i'm not designed for it it's probably more details than you needed to know anyway it doesn't matter i'm just sharing my life um Oh, I love a good steak. We had that pin bone, is it? Oh, I don't know. Um, I had a steak once that it was like, <sighs> oh, I hope Santos don't you and me call me a bacon fucker if I says I was eating animals. But I, I am. It is a bit psycho. I realize, guys, that eating lamb is psycho. Yeah. But like I've been like, <sighs> my avatar needs it. And it's one part of the program for the other part of the program. It's like a sacrifice exchange energy thing. Yeah. Even though they're cute and all of that, but I got to fucking eat, guys. Yeah. <sniffs> My mouth's literally watering now, thinking about lamb chops. They're like crispy fat, mint sauce, <sniffs> roast potatoes. Fucking starving now. I shouldn't have said any of that. Why do I do it to myself, guys? I was all right till then. <clears throat> What's that? What India love. Thanks for his smooch. Thanks for smooch smooches. Smooches all around. Did you like that film of the dance, the love thing? You loved that that girl, didn't he? She was pretty, and he's like, I love her. I hope they ended up together when they grew up. It's a lovely little video that touch, touch my soul. I, uh, I remember being exactly like that. It's like, sure I can dance. Sure how cool I am. So how brilliant I am at playing pool. Fuck yeah. Definitely gonna get a feel of booby tonight. Gut cleaner, free so hippie. Suso, how you aunt, mate? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was great being young, one of the guys. It's so much fun. Those ayahuasca retreats in Peru, uh um the die form from hell where the shaman are getting jiggy with the ladies is all of that. I don't know, mate. <laughs> the thing is, is they go to these sweat lodges. There's all these things going on. It's just all fucking weird. I've seen, I know. So I, it's, the thing is to me, it's like I've noticed on these hippie videos you see, yeah, with all these fucking new ages, right? And they're playing guitar, yeah, and they're all like rich as fuck. Yeah, because they wouldn't be there if they weren't rich as fuck, yeah. 
and they're like, oh, I've meditated all day. I feel nirvana now. And then they all smile inanely at one another. Like, yes, I love you, brother. I love you too. That shit don't last. Wait till fucking five years' time when it all fucking blows over. And it'll be like, I fucking hate it. It's bullshit, guys. People not being authentic and unique and being themselves in these things. It's like cults. You know, I could never be in that environment because I would always have to be myself. And my nature is I am mischievous. And I have to be. It's part of my nature. Yeah, I got a mischievous bit. I've analyzed my psychology. Don't worry about it. I don't even know why I'm like I am, but I can't do nothing about it, guys. Okay. So they'd have to deal with that. And they wouldn't be, because they'd be all like, oh, hey, brother. Oh, what gives? Oh, I'm like, yeah, what the fuck ever? No, it's horrible. It's culty. It takes away individuality and people's expression of consciousness. It's a weird thing. Oh, thanks, Bob. Uh, Rob, excuse me, that's really kind of you. Uh, Danganes, I wonder what nationality that is. <laughs> okay, I've been talking for four hours and 20 minutes. I have a lot of stuff I could still present, but I guess and I'll just come back midweek or something. I was going to do that this week. I was biting at the chomp to come and post, but... So, yeah, all those things happening in the descriptions box down below. You can check them out, get tickets for the festival and what have you. Hippie movement turned to ravers. The ravers, I didn't get down that road. Didn't like it. Didn't like the whole ecstasy scene. That was full of shit and false as well. They were all hugging and then they were all manically depressed by Wednesday. They're going to kill them fucking selves. I was like, oh, that's good. Oh, ecstasy. That's what they're all like on it, guys. All of them. Yeah, they were all fucking flying from fucking Friday to Sunday. I didn't go down that road at all. And then, like, Wednesday is the phone, yeah. Oh, I think I'm going to kill myself. It's like, you'll be all right Friday when you've had another E. No. All of it is bollocks. The thing was bollocks. It's all psyops. No good for us. It's not what we need. We need the nature. We need trees. We need nurturing by nature. We need to be, come back home. Uh, what is the topic of conversation, Stanley Milligan? Just generalization of uh, philosophical thoughts of what reality is. Uh, Stanley, you know, earlier on we talked about um, buildings being frozen music and having many beneficial qualities for humanity. And um, we talked about the possibility of Pandaverse not being real, uh, for real. Um, and all the other stuff I actually never got to show you because I run out of time. We looked at Q Critters. Oh, and Epic Fails. And uh, fun off Friday. So, yeah, we got quite through quite a bit there. But it's getting on here. It's getting on for midnight soon. And I'm going to make a nice cup of tea. Dunk some fruity biscuits for my supper. So it's nature of Britain. Biscuits are cookies. Yeah. Biscuits in America are these fat things that looks like scones. And they cover them with a thing called gravy. Gravy. It's not even brown. It's white. White gravy. So strange, so different, cultural differences. Ah, uh, just massive. Hi, Glenn. Good to see you, Broski. Uh, what's that? Um, I'm deep appreciation of your work on the crystallization of music. Thank you so much. It came to me, and I thought, well, how, that's going to be difficult to try and tell people all my thoughts because it gravy and biscuits. Yeah, it's pretty hard to talk about my uh, thoughts and explain them to people. So I use imagery. Uh, to share my thoughts, which is what my channel's about. So, yeah, RIP the Tatarian channel. I was proper pants. I can't believe I lost all that um, work. And then they can just do that like that. So I can just got to be careful with these channels now, guys, okay? If I do disappear, I ain't fucking struggling on for years more, trying to get fucking all these subs back. It just took me another six years to get um, 60,000 back after I lost them all. And you're kind of building up, losing all game. That's not a game of snakes and ladders I'm into. So I just have to, like I did in this vlog, completely behave and say nothing wrong. To totally toe the line. Okay? I did, didn't I? I was really good at it as well, wasn't I? Thank you. Yay. Yay. I was well behaved. I was well behaved. Be a guy. Give me drugs. Um, what was that? Be a guy? Um, I've seen an American make um, a tea in a microwave. 
I'd warmed up coffee in the microwave, but I checked my microwave oven away about five, six years ago. I thought, I ain't having no microwave food anymore. Because um, I was buying processed foods to put in the microwave. So as soon as I checked the microwave, I gave up processed food. And uh, now I only eat fresh. I, don't, I won't do anything frozen except for chips, frozen chips. But there's only potato. Sharon, how you love? Good to see you. My brother Alva Billy, who's been with me so many years, I feel like I know him so well. Um, no, it wasn't me. Um, it wasn't me, and I didn't do it. Never ever did it ever. It wasn't me. It was somebody else other than me that did it. Okay, and includes World War One, World War Two, and all the other bad things that went on in the last century. I can't be solely blamed for all of that. And Rona. You can blame this man for that. <laughs> well done, B. It was only an entire world. <laughs> you think you'd go nutty, wouldn't you? You think you have like a sense of power that you could do something like that. But you don't even just take it with a pinch of salt. It's like no one actually knows or gives a fuck anyway. So <laughs> I'm on the show. <laughs> What's that, Deb? We love you. I love you too. Love you all, you guys. Thank you so much, guys. You're the best. And I hope that Flat Earth British lasts many more years. I feel it is like an institution in truth now. You know, we were pioneers in the beginning with the uh, Flat Earth and the Antiquitech movement and all the rest. And uh, long may the party go on. That's what I feel. Okay. As long as I possibly can. Thank you for Space to Talk. And, and I can hang out. It's nearly 500 of you still still here after three hours. That's not bad, is it? Managing to retain people's interest. So, yeah. They did it to try and get to me, but it didn't. It didn't do that to me. It just, like... It just make, makes me stronger. It just doesn't do it to me. It's not, <clears throat> they'd like for it to fuck me either, but it's just not going <clears> to... <throat> That's why they do it. Because they're like really weird. Google and all of them. It's just like gaslighting psychos. Fucking all of them. <laughs> Fuck them. <coughs> Machiavelli. YouTube. So anyway, I'll see you all tomorrow. Friday night. I'll send links out. Put them in the descriptions box. As I said, I'm over on our cakes tomorrow. That proof's going to be promised to be a big show. Um, he's going to share some uh, some images. And we're going to chew the fat about them. Okay, see, see, where, see where we go. Okay, epic episode. Thanks, son of Overbrook. Okay, we made the effort. Flat day night. Do love a fat day night. Look forward to it. I do. Seeing all you guys and uh, bringing the juice. What's that? Thank you, Ray Ray. And Ian, what's that? Uh, you wear your loony lightly. Ha ha ha. And Dale, good to see you. Angela, good to see you. Thank you so much. And some wearing time. Uh, yeah, I lost my other channel. Fucking 30, fucking God knows how many subscribed. Thousands. 30,000, 30. I don't even know. 34, I think it was on. Can't remember now. <sighs> Still, all that. But like I said, I got a lot of it saved. So, nah. No, don't know about that, Bear and see. Anyway, i got to go, guys. I'm just waffling on. I'm going to talk forever. Bob's my bro. There he is. Uh, JS. Uh, Linda. Got this. So, thank you, Cher. Donate. Good things. And help out. Onward and upwards. That's the way, Laurie. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, it just makes me more resilient. It just makes me stronger when they do shit things. It's just so I... It's only been twice that they've taken that channel down. Twice. Yeah. And this one's on a strike for till the end of June, believe it or not, this channel. And my others are on strikes. One of them's up in five days. It's like all of my channels, just over bullshit. Stuff I used to say years ago. And they're all really old videos. Some of them are usually like five, six-year-old videos that they're doing it on. And like I haven't got the time to go through all my videos and listen to them all back and see what I'm saying and where. So pff, that's that. Crazy, crazy fucking dictate the ship man you can't say what the fuck you want anymore 
doing no harm, helping people, and then he goes and does things like that. Says it all, don't it, babe? Babe, <laughs> you know me, babe, <laughs> guys. Uh, Co Eric, oh Denver, oh he loves Colorado. Oh, it's so gorgeous. Set that dog to bit me. The rest is awesome, James. Uh, but I haven't been to Denver, the Mile High City. But I hear it's mighty fine. You got mighty fine things going like red brick mud flooders everywhere in Denver. So I've been told. Okay, I'm going to be diving off, guys. I got shit. To I have always got shit to do. I don't want to go and rumble. I don't want to go any other formats. They're all YouTube run anyway. It's all bullshit. <coughs> Colorado Springs. Yeah, I went to um hot springs in Colorado. Yeah, they were fucking amazing. Healing springs. Just really, really good. Get some sleep, Machiavelli. I, yeah, I need to get. I need to calm down. It's downtime now. Uh, come to the music of Sky in California. Love California. So the best place in the world, isn't it? Anyway, I gotta go. Right, wiggly fat thumbs. If I haven't done that already, I definitely got a bit of suntan today. I want to see me have a maybe black this year? It'd be brilliant. Can't wait. Oh, happy. Uh, keep your gin up, Matt. I will. Um, you are vibing uh, so low. I am uh, stop it on hun. I am vibing a bit low. I know that, but that's not my fault. I'm gonna keep getting fucked up all the time. So that's what that is. <clears throat> Thank you, Lisa. Much loves. Nostar the key. Nostar, Nostar, everybody. Nostar, little wing. Nostar, 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 Nostar. Good night. Ooh. Ooh, do you want me to sing? Do you want me to sing a lullaby for you all now, guys? No, I won't go that far now. Okay, peace upon you. Okay, then. Thanks, Dan, for that. I don't think we'll end on that. Okay. Stay epic, guys. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Above all, be kind. And stay safe. See you soon, guys. See you in a week. Keep an eye. Um, I, I have tomorrow for a big show. Um, I'll put a link in the descriptions when it shows up. Okay. See you later.